but it's gotten them out and walking our dog, which is really good. <laughs> yeah, it's quite good in the fact that it's a more social form of gaming, really, at the moment. I mean, you bump yeah. into people and that. Um, some of the madness in America that I've seen, where there's like 300 people on a pier waiting to get a... Uh, <laughs> a I mean, the thing is, person. the Santa Monica Pier, generally you have like four or five hundred people there on a daily basis. <laughs> well, Alright, so it's nothing to do with Pokemon. I mean, it's there. just that the people who would already be there hanging out are now also doing this. <laughs> Like, people are getting a bit crazy in some spot sometimes, but, yeah, but the pier thing, you know, I like, uh, we go to hang out here whenever we get a chance because it's just a lot of fun being there. Uh -huh. I just haven't been there in ages. And, you know, I actually have a group of friends and we're planning on going because none of us have been there in, like, years now. And you Pokemon know, Go has given you some extra incentive. Yeah, because I mean, it, it's it's a it's a long trip to get out there, and there's a lot of traffic, and you know you have to find parking and everything, which is can be a bit of a pain in the ass. Mm -hmm. But you know, now now you, you can get a group of people who are generally quite lazy, and get them all out there. Yeah, my dad joined Starfleet because he believed in it. I joined on a dare. Because my friends are all fucking lazy and shit. Oh my god. What about you, Nathan? Have you had a go yet? Yeah, I, I've only had a sort of few hours with it, but the best Pokemon I've got is a speed roll, level 55 or whatever, Spear. sleeping. Not very good. is not bad. Do you. Do you battle at all, or is it just catching them? You, you can battle gyms. Mm -hmm. Okay. But yeah, you don't. You generally aren't going to start doing that until you're a bit higher in level. So like, you can not battle other trainers. Not just randomly. Basically, you take over the gym. Uh, you can put a Pokemon into a gym if there's a uh -huh. spot and it's on your team. Right. And if you find a gym that's not on your team, you can attack it with all of your Pokemon and try to capture the gym. You get okay. a bunch of ex you get experience for everyone you kill and so on and so forth. And um, mm -hmm. if you find a gym that belongs to your team, you can take one Pokemon and attack it and take down as many of theirs as possible, which strengthens the gym, so it's harder for other people to take over, and it um, gives you experience. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's not. It, it's um, you know, there there is it isn't as much of the whole like Pokemon battles as I would have liked from a Pokemon game now, but you know it's something. And they're they're working on adding more stuff. Like they don't have any trading mechanics yet, but they're working on it. Yeah, that's That'd what I was awesome. gonna say. I think it would be easy to add one v one battles or whatever into it. Yeah. yeah um... I'm waiting for them to update it so it can actually work with my phone. Like, my phone, um, like, I've, I've seen a lot of the uh, the reviews on it, and it says the LG Stylo, it, it has problems working with it. Oh, because I, I have the LG G2, and I, it's been, like, the GPS is a little wonky, but other than that, it works fine. Yeah, my, my brother, he said he tried playing, and him and I have the same phone. And he said that when you get to the camera, like when it opens the camera, the whole screen goes black and just restarts the app. Oh shit, that's fine. Yeah. Um, I got, I ended up disabling the camera because it just it kills my battery. Yeah. Uh huh. So it just, mine just um, runs without it. So how do you capture Pokemon without the camera? Uh, you can do the VR mode. That's an option, or the AR mode. But you can just do it by, um, you can, you can, it'll just give you a fake screen, like a grassy field screen. And, uh, it'll okay. just, and you also don't have to, it's better if you're like walking around and doing stuff while you're catching to turn it off. Because if you're walking around, then whatever direction you're facing, your phone is facing when you clicked it, is the direction uh -huh. the Pokemon's going to be in. <laughs> 
So if you're like tur- if you're walking around and going places, then you're gonna have to make sure your phone's facing in the same direction the whole time you're trying to catch it. Whereas if you turn off, disable the AR mode, then um, then it then it, it doesn't matter which direction you're facing. Hmm. But um, yeah, because I just I had turned off when I first started the app because I was worried for a battery, and I turned it on to try it, and it's all right. It's cool sometimes, you know, if you're in an interesting area, but generally it's more of a hassle. Right. Oh, and I, I hope you live near a landmark or a mural of some sort, because then you get a Pokestop, which is important. <laughs> yeah, um, I'm not sure. I, I live out in Oakley, which is by, like, Antioch and Brentwood, if you've heard of those places. Yeah. Okay, so, yeah, I, I don't know really what's out here. All I, all I have time for right now, unfortunately, is work. So, uh, I don't have time. Do you have a church near you? Uh, none that I've seen, but I'm sure there's one around. Yeah, because ch- almost every church is stopped as well. Hmm. Everybody yeah. follow that? Yep. Do we have a Dean present? That would be negative, I guess. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> ah. And there he is. Uh-huh. Okay. So, guessing would be good to start. This is so nice, I can actually use my desktop now, rather than having to hide <laughs> it all the time. Uh... All right, so last time, there was a major, major battle at a planet called Vericon, where you were fighting over the planet, as the Sith are trying to use it to mine various resources, but also you were fighting over the mantle of Darth Imperius, which um, you guys now know has amazing regenerative pa- regenerative powers and can prolong one's lifespan and stave off age and other ill effects. Um, and it, but it also charges one's force power, so you, you become far more more powerful than you originally were. And Darth Varus, with the aid of his son, got away with the main piece of the armor. You guys have the extremity pieces, the helmet, greaves, gauntlets. Uh, but Darth Imperius has the body armor with him. So, as we start this session, because um, this session and the last session are basically the same same one, we don't, there's no break in between. Um, so, Varys and Drox are long gone at the moment, and you guys are on the Ebon Hawk. Uh, first of all, why don't we do our normal thing that we normally do? Like, you guys are all on the Ebon Hawk, so. There you go. Yeah. This works a lot better as well because the audience don't see what I'm seeing because it's a spoiler. You know, they can see everything that's going to happen in the session basically. Um. So, but but now with steady, yeah, they're seeing basically what they're supposed to see. That's you know, what steady sees. Mm. Um, are you guys seeing the Evan Hawk right now? Yeah. 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 Good. Yeah, I just deleted myself because I don't think I'm on there with them. <laughs> well, you could be. I could have been. We definitely <laughs> kidnapped you. We definitely kidnapped you. Don't worry about it. Mm. Okay. So, what's everyone gonna do? Where are you? Because at the moment, you guys are on your way to the uh, uh, the Republic fleet or the remnants of it. What's left? The Republic fleet. Uh, I got a question real quick. Uh, didn't did the planet explode? I don't remember. No, the one no, we were on last time. No. I just tried to bury you. Yeah, we just oh, okay. you for a while, which was fun. Just okay. Maybe yeah. I'm thinking about the session before. I don't remember. 
I remember there being a, pe a planet, like, exploding. Basically. That was Coruscant a couple seconds. There you go. There you go. Okay. Yeah. That's the one. Yeah. Yeah, well, it didn't so much explode as it's now a fresh, clean planet. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. So, so, so conveniently in the Star Wars lore, there could still be a Coruscant, which is a capital city, but it's not going to happen for a while. <laughs> yeah. We basically reset that the whole setting. Hooray. Yay. 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 Hopefully this time they can deal with the smog problem. Just saying. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe not, then. It's not a clean planet. So, we're, we're on the way back to the Rebel fleet. Have we got any information about how our forces are doing on the front line? Because I know we deployed some. Um, you can... Other places. You, you don't on the Evan Hawk, no, but you will when you get back to the fleet. Mm-hmm. Well, um... Well, uh, we, we had the fleet that was with us. Um, mm -hmm. How are they doing? Uh, they are either destroyed or they left with you. Okay. Um, well, I guess... You can't really see at the moment because you're in hyperspace, so you can't really okay. do any readings. Well, we were planning on meeting up with the, tro with the troops, weren't we, on um, the sheep? Was that the plan? Well, that's the plan. Oh. Yeah. Well, we're going to head back towards the um, the main little fleet first, so I think I'd be doing that. I know we're in hyperspace and things, but the leader's kind of on alert at the moment, driven by what's what's happened, so she's mm -hmm. just looking out, make sure the sensors are, are working and everything. I would um, I would actually be talking with Sejanus, asking him um, if, he, if he could find any more information on the parts of... Um, Zark Imperius' armor, because he told me that the the uh, gloves are meant to help control and you know stop force lightning. I'm wondering if the greaves and the helmet have anything that we can use mm -hmm. to s mm -hmm. try to stop Dark Barris. And um, Dean, do I know anything about them? Roll intelligence. Uh, right, I'll need the dice. Just check my. So. Ooh, shiny. Oh, wow. Oh, no. Shiny. <laughs> I've okay. got a bad feeling about this session. Um, <laughs> well, very away. first roll. Laden, oh no! Roman. I didn't even notice the ninety-nine. I was too busy looking at the lightsaber stats. <laughs> oh, um, you inadvertently hit hit a button, Sejanus, as you're rifling through all of your uh, different settings to try and get on your computer terminal to try and get some um, some information on the current situation. Yeah. Yeah. And you, you you accidentally ping the location of the uh, Republic fleet, galaxy wide. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm so pleased um, it's just this handy button, so easy to. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 no. You haven't just pinged it like 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 the only people who'd be able to get onto it are hackers and people like that. You know what I mean? So it's not like somebody's on the TV going, "Oh, there's the fleet." You know? No, no, it, it's like, you know. Yeah. But, but for somebody who knows what they're doing, they'll be able to see where the Republic fleet is. Okay. Um, uh, but, but, but you did succeed. And uh, what, what what was it that that leader was asking you to do? Leader? It was Quinn, wasn't it? Oh, yeah, Quinn. Yeah, yeah. 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 looking yeah. up about the information about the other pieces of Darth Imperius' armor. Ah, uh, right, okay. Um, you find that the only thing left to get is the lightsaber of Darth Imperius. Um, which isn't essential in any way, shape, or form to you know the, the armor itself, but is very symbolic. And the only things you find is that Republic intelligence believes that Darth Imperius now knows where that is, so it's likely he'll be going there next, wherever but, that is. But the uh, what is it? The greaves and the helmet. What are their stats? Mm -hmm. Um. To be honest with you, I wasn't really expecting any of you to wear them, so I haven't made the stats. Oh. Uh, but, you know, the, only the body armor has stats. The rest of it is just, you know, it, it will probably allow you to do what you'd think it would allow you to do, and that's, you know, catch force lightning and, you know, 
take right. a lot of so each piece doesn't have its own attribute like, no. you can the, even you can you can even from what you're researching you can even catch a lightsaber with these gauntlets okay. but you can wow. actually just have the blade in your hand wow. for, for a short period of time not a long period of time for a short period of time you can actually hold the, the blade of a lightsaber Okay, so I say to Quint that the, the other pieces aren't really very useful. It's only the mantle and the... What is it? The, the gloves? Or gauntlets? That's yeah, it. the gauntlets, yeah. Mm -hmm. The gauntlets, yeah. Okay, so um, I'm going to thank him, but um, I'm going to... Yeah, I, I have a feeling that... like I don't believe that I'm going to be able to fight um, Darth Varys on any way, shape, or form on even ground. So mm -hmm. I, I'm thinking that uh, maybe the, the pieces we do have might help give us an advantage. Yeah, by all means, okay. if you're happy to wear them, then go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, like, I'm going to kind of uh, sit with them and, like, reach out with... Uh, I'm going to thank him and kind of separate from him at this point and kind of go to the... Uh, the garage where I kind of go in to meditate and train and bring the pieces, including um, including uh, uh, Drox's pieces, and kind of uh, reach out with them to the forest to just kind of feel them and try to get a better understanding of you know uh, mm -hmm. why they you know what they, they do with because you know, I know I know that you're supposed to with when you have all five pieces or all four mm -hmm. pieces the armor it's supposed to do something so i want to try to see if i can get an idea of what that's supposed to be by okay. like uh asking like kind of meditating through the force okay um you get a sense of uh, memories of, of battles that these uh these gauntlets have been involved in and it's basically a, an entire century of conflict so you, you you actually recoil away from quite a lot of it because it's you know it's pumped up dark side energy basically. Um, but yeah, that, that's basically what you, what you get from it. Like you just meditate on them and get a better understanding. Um, they're still not going to have any stats no matter how much you meditate. Yeah, no, uh, um, But I'm yeah, it, to, it, yeah. I'm just trying to get an idea of what uh, what Varys is thinking. Mm hmm. <clears throat> Cool. Um, what Varus is thinking. Um, I'm like, so or sure. what, what he's expecting from get, collecting the armor, rather. Hmm. Okay. Um. Yeah. So, so you can see that uh, the armor is a preservative, in that it keeps the body from decaying. It keeps the body from um, succumbing to any sort of poison or disease or anything like that. Um, and also, it, it's been imbued by extremely powerful powerful Sith sorcery, basically. And you have an image in your mind that takes you back to the forging of the armor. Um, it was actually forged by a man called Emperor Vitiate, uh, who sacrificed an, ent the, the, an entire world, basically, um, in a Sith ritual to bind all of the souls of all of the living things on that world into the armor itself. And so the force actually st stops you from dying, it stops you from aging. It just refuses to let you go when you have the armor on, when it's complete. Um, but the pain and the suffering caused by that... Um, by that actual... Um, ritual actually, actually drags you back into into the real world and outside of your little trance that you have going on. Okay. I'm kind of like a bit like disturbed by this and I'm going to kind of push the like arm away and kind of walk through the ship. Mm -hmm. Like I don't want to touch the pieces for a little bit. So I was going to like, yeah, I'm just going to kind of walk over to the common area and just kind of like try to recover from what I've just seen. All right. What does everyone else want to do while you're on the ship? Um, uh, punch it to the rebel fleet, I think. Yeah. Um, oh, Janice. Oh, Janice. Hello. Hello. 
Can you hear me? Mm-hmm. Hello. You, yeah. you come and you sat next to me. I, I didn't see that then. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, yeah, I've been trying to keep abreast of any sort of galactic news that I can, if that's at all possible. But yeah, just um, can't really do that from here. But yeah, because you're in the, the in hyperspace. The only reason you could do the one before because you got a ninety-nine. You needed a crit to do it, so I'll let you do it if you get a crit. You can do that. Uh, I, I did. I don't know how hyperspace works in Star Wars. To be honest, do they instantly get there in one jump? I would have. I no. was thinking like. It, it yeah, you do. Yeah. All right. Well, yeah, you, no, you, you, you get there in one jump. It takes time. Yeah, yeah. Well, we just wait. I'll just wait now. Unless you stop and then you know refuel and shit. Mm. That's all. Mm. Right. Well, if you guys aren't adamant about doing anything, I guess um, I'm just about to pull it out of hyperspace to come up above the Rebel fleet. So, mm-hmm. so Janice, if you could get ready on the um, on the scanners and things, just to check our situation once I get out of there, because I've got a bad, no a bad feeling based on our um, our previous encounter. That would be great. Quint, ready yourself. Let's see, uh, see if we can be ready. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go hide the uh, armor in the ship. Like, you know, I'm gonna keep the gloves where I normally kept them, but I'm gonna hide the other pieces since uh, Drox, you know, in case Drox gets my on the ship, I don't want it to them to be exactly where he thought they were. Mm-hmm. Uh, for the record, Sejanus turned off the ping immediately when he realised. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Still yeah. broadcasting it. Just, okay. Mm. Okay. Good. That no, would be kind of ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. I know Sir Janus does some stupid stuff, but he wouldn't be that stupid. If you say so. It's fair enough. <laughs> right. So I, I pull the Evan Hall book out of um out of hyperspace thing. Um, okay. and ha- have a little look around. Like okay, uh stuff? did you want to go straight to the fleet, yeah? Or do you want to come out of hyperspace where you are? Um Well I'd like to go straight to the fleet really, but sort of Pull out of hyperspace mm-hmm. a little bit away from them, um, and then approach it at near light if possible. Okay. Okay. Uh, let me just try and do something right here. When we've dropped out, I would like to do an intelligence check for scanning or whatever. Okay. Okay. Uh, you can see basically a ragtag fleet in front of you. Like far from the grandeur of the original fleet, this does not look like it's going to be winning any battles anytime soon. Um. It's battered, and there aren't many, many ships left. Basically, um, you have armies out there, and you have fleets out there that you sent to do all the things this time. Mm-hmm. So, you know, you, you could make contact with them. That's not always an option. You all know that. Um, but there are, you know, th- this is not going to win you any battles. In fact, if this is found, it's probably going to be destroyed, like, pretty quickly. Well, let's get contact with our the troops we sent to the to um, the different planets and see how they're doing. Okay. Um, what were our um, orders? Were they to return as soon as they completed their mission, or, or would they be just... No, yeah, they, they, they were... Planet? I thought they, they were going to move on to the other spot. Yeah, they, they were, they were going to move on, but you need to go back to the fleet first, because you are being pinged Yeah. Uh, by, the, by the Purity, which is the largest ship. It's not a capital ship, you don't have any of those left in the fleet. But um, you're being pinged by it, and it's, uh, it's from a message from General Onasi. Basically, a, a request that you come aboard to discuss like, a council of war, basically. Mm-hmm. Well, um, if Sir Janus isn't um, all that speedy about doing so, I'll um, acknowledge the message and, and pull us in. Yeah, it's close okay. as possible. That's fine. So you uh, come to. The purity, and you come aboard. You're allowed on board. Um, so yeah, what do you want to do on the purity? You don't have to go straight to him. You can do whatever you want. Is there anyone to greet us there? Um, no, no. They, they, they are, they, they, that's one thing that does strike you. Is that it, it's not really a, um, it's not really a hub of activity. Of activity. It's mm-hmm. quite disturbing, actually. Like like people are running around. Sure. But they're not really uh, paying you much attention. There's no formal greeting that there would be normally. Okay. You get the sense that people have more important things to worry about. But they're not at battle stations or anything. 
Oh yeah, because they're up on the station. Oh, they are. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Um, well, that's I suppose that's to be expected then. But we're not going to get a formal greeting while they're on high alert. Um, yeah, I mean, I I guess Lida would like to go and have some refreshments before she sees the general. I mean, we've just been through quite an arduous battle and well known that Drox was near us and things. So you nice to have a little bit of a of downtime before we get into the next thing. Mm-hmm. From her point of view, anyway. Oh, She's going to find a bar. Okay. So we'll sit down. A lounge area. Yeah, there, like, um, there, are, there, are a few, uh, there are a few people in the bar. Just, yeah. Quinn would have started heading straight to the general and then seen Lita sort of not go straight to the general and then follow mm-hmm. with her. Okay. Um, when you realize she's just going to sit down and drink, what, what would you do? I would say, I don't know that we really have time for this. Well, I need myself a drink. If you want to go and greet the general, then that's that's perfectly fine. But we've, I mean, I've, I've don't know about I don't know about you, but I've been up for twenty four hours or or beyond that. I just I just need a minute, okay? Just need a minute. I'm sure you do too, whether you acknowledge it or not. What? How long was hyperspace travel? Uh, Where you've had enough on route? I'd, Lita wouldn't have. She if you felt right. secure oh. enough to have a nap, you might have done, yeah. But... No, Lita wouldn't have. Alright. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, Quint, Janice Quint's would have gone directly of... to the bridge, really, because he would have got them to have gone for a toilet break or something. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. yeah. Right, like... Well, you guys go ahead. I'll, I'll join you there in a, in a minute. I won't be long. I'm, I'm like... At this point, like Quint's uh, going to be a bit more understanding, and just like going to like put a hand on her shoulder and be like, "All right, we'll see you there in a little bit." Okay. Okay. And and follow us, Cool. All so, right. I'll. I'd like to do something very quickly. Um, the actual purpose mm-hmm. of doing that was to so that I could have a minute to check, um, sort of the ship news or gossip about signs of Lena. Um, or whether whether she's around, whether there's any any knowledge of her operations, or whether they're like top secret. Um, how would you how would you go about doing that? Um, I probably wouldn't ask the barman. Um, and like, are there are there fighter pilots around? Yeah, are there, 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 are, there are a few. You recognise the livery of the fighter fighter squadrons around? Okay. Um, do I see any like squadron commanders or leaders at all? That are they? Um, you wouldn't know. Like, like you don't really have the um, the wherewithal to to know. You know okay, fair enough. Well, like. I'll just um, I'll head over to um to one of the tables um where they're gathered and just say, "Hey guys, um, okay, I'm just gonna get straight to the point. I've I've had I've had a long couple of days. Do you know where I might find information about um one of the one of the agents that's." That's been, been working for the rebels. I mean, she's in and out, but she's got, she goes by the name of Lena. Um, what, what, one of them is a gruff-looking fellow with a with a beard. Just looks you up and down and says, uh, uh, "We're on the habit of giving away uh, sensitive information, right?" I don't know what you're trying to pull, but you know. Well, I I need to know. This is important. I mean, feel free not to tell me, but you know, there there may be repercussions if I don't find out what I need to know. What? what you all just look at each other like, <laughs> what the fuck? And uh, uh, yeah, the, the, one of them says, uh, hey, "Hey, hey, boss, isn't that uh, isn't that one of the mercs? Like, one, one of the?" And he goes, "Huh? Do you have any identification?" You don't need to see her identification. <laughs> <laughs> I don't use the force. Well, <laughs> yeah, sure. I mean, have it. They gave me this, so I don't really know what it's for. But yeah, go for it, and I'll I'll hand over the identification that we were given. Mm-hmm. I think it's quite basic, but yeah, uh, but but it does satisfy. And he goes, right. Um, I'm sorry. Um, I have to question everyone who comes in trying to get information out of us. You know. I understand. I'd do the same thing in your position. He's like, uh, yeah, uh, come with me, and we'll talk. Okay, I'll I'll nod to acknowledge and, and follow. Um, <laughs> he he brings you around around the corner and basically says, uh, 
Yeah, uh, Nina was assigned to my unit actually. Um, she was assigned to my squadron. We were meant to get her into to Mandalore unharmed, and we did. We got her down there. She's going to go help the resistance there. Uh, but a couple of days ago, as the battle was going on in Varicon, we uh, had news that Mandalore had fallen, like completely. We don't know anything else, but most of the Mandalorian forces we had on hand are now gone. Um, and we have, we've had no word from any of our agents there. Well, that's sad news. And it's not good for the war effort either. No, we know. How, how long ago was that? Was, was that fairly recently? That was a few days ago. Oh, she could be still alive. Oh, maybe she's a resourceful woman. I, I bet she's fine. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll go and look. I mean, at the very least, we need to go and reinforce Mandalore. If we, if we lose the Mandalorians, then that's it for us. I agree. Okay. Well, thank you for um, providing me with the information. I understand that it's it's not easy in, in your position to hand out information to to a, a relative stranger to you. Um, I'm going to go and, and tell the rest of these my mercs that um, the information you've provided, and, and we'll see what we can do. But thank you. All right. And he goes back to join his bodies. Cool. I'll um I'll head up to the bridge after that. Just sort of take a couple of sobering drinks and, and head up. Mm -hmm. Hold on. Cool. Uh, what's everyone else doing? Uh, we went up to the bridge. Yeah. All right. So you guys um come to the bridge, and it's a it's a quite a large open space, but not not as large as some of the ships you've been on. And um, General Onasi is there, looking at a, a map of the galaxy, and speaking. Go over to the map now. Have a look at this. Uh, he basically looks up and says, uh, "Ah, it's good to see you. Good to see you all survived in one piece. It was a what what we'd call a ferric victory on Vericon, wouldn't you say?" Hmm. You could call it that. That's a, wasn't it, uh, Sirdvar? That we were on? Oh, Suratvar, yeah, sorry, yeah. Sorry. Oh, right, yeah. And Varicon was uh, <coughs> planet where we found yeah. where uh, yeah. he got his armor. Yeah. Yeah, he says, yeah, sorry, Suratvar. It's, it's, it's been a long couple of weeks. I mean, I mean, it seems like an eternity since uh, I was talking, you know? Like, uh, <laughs> like, uh, it, 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 it often seemed like I was going to talk, and then uh, it was cancelled and I didn't talk. <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear. Um, what part of that encounter would you call a victory? He said, well, we drove the Sith off and we destroyed a large bulk of their fleet. And the core objective? But we just don't know. We just don't know where they're getting more fleets from. They're getting more and more men, more and more supplies. And an unfathomable number of droids in their armies. Oh, by the way, I looked up the the Lego world. It's Iego, not Lego. <laughs> I had a feeling it was. It's Lego. Oh, <laughs> oh. I wasn't going to say anything. It'll forever be Lego. Where, where did you yeah. find it? Wikipedia. Because I'm going to change yeah. Wikipedia now. Yeah, Wikipedia, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> See how long it takes. Iego. It was Don't on, change uh, the Wikipedia for me. <laughs> it was in Star Wars Legends, Legends yeah. apparently. Like one of the things was on the Star Wars Legends. Mm. Okay. But anyway, yeah, um, he says, I've got some bad news. Uh, not that there's any other kind nowadays. Uh, Mandalore's gone. It's completely gone. We uh, we, we lost the planet. Um, so Janice uh, sort of looks taken aback by that and takes a deep breath and asks him to elaborate what happened, why, why did it fall. He said... He said, without proper support, the armies there were simply outmatched by the sheer numbers of droids that were falling upon them from the Sith forces. We had no choice but to pull back with what little forces we had. The Mandalorians refused to leave. And they're now fighting a hopeless resistance on Mandalore, but they won't be, they're not in numbers enough to help nowadays. That's very sad. Um, yeah. 
So Janice is deep in thought, he's not really he's trying to think of how he could have made it different or what he can do. Hmm. I he says but we do we do have more information on where Varus is going. If any of you are interested in that. I, I, I honestly yeah, wouldn't blame you know. if you wanted to walk away. I mean, it's it, we've not. This war has not gone well. Um, I don't think we have a choice, the option to walk away. I think we've pissed off the Sith more than a little bit. Mm. I would agree. What was our status with the other engagements and Kashyyyk and Alderaan and Ardmantel? Uh, Kashyyyk has actually been uh, completely liberated. So we've actually got. Kashyyyk sorted out. Oh, I'm just gonna get rid of my cat. That's not us. That's not me. That's an Oh, I What? <laughs> Dean has a suicidal cat that likes to jump out of his window. Ah, uh, right. <laughs> As so we all do. <laughs> As we all do. It's amazing. It's yeah, it happens. It's true. There we go. Um, yeah, um, Kashyyyk's been completely liberated, and Alderaan is still under attack, but it's no longer a, a scene of crisis. Ord Mantel, however, has completely fallen, and the Jedi have fallen back. Uh, the numbers are simply too few to stand up against the Sith encroaching on them. Mm. Wow. Um, but, so there's no positive news or good news out of all of this, really, apart from the liberation of the sheep. <laughs> <laughs> um, For all the might of the Republic, we've not done very much. It almost no. sounds like you're expecting something, like a like a, a nice turnaround at the end there. So yeah, yeah. yeah I <laughs> well, well, if you look at the graphic up here. They'll say, but we have one of our fleets was completely destroyed. We have three fleets left from those engagements that have returned to us here. See? What Here's about. Did, yes? did, the Kish, did Kashyyyk provide any. Uh, is it Kashyyyk providing any support? <laughs> Military support? Uh, uh, Kashyyyk is, and the Wookiees are on the ships that, have brought, that were brought back from the homeworld of the Wookiees. Wookiees don't have any Wookiee ship? No. Bastards. Wookiees don't have ships. <laughs> Wookiees don't need ships. They're too awesome anyway. Come on. Hmm. Just throw oh. Wookiees at them in spacesuits. They'll take apart the ships by hand. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll do it. Space faring Wookiees. He, he says, um... After all the bad news we've had, we do have one bit of good news, but whether it's considered good news, maybe to the suicide, we know where Varus is going. He's heading to a world just here. He just pings it on the map. Lego, you say? Ah. No. Lego. <laughs> no. It's not actually <laughs> no. called The Planet of Meccano. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Uh, really cool. uh, Redemption. Uh, mm. Redemption, huh? Mm. Funny that. Whoa. So, uh, we don't know what he wants there, but my guess is that he's going after the lightsaber of Darth Imperius. Now, this to me, it doesn't really seem like a, a huge deal. It's one lightsaber. It's not exactly gonna make him control the entire galaxy but we need to hit him wherever and whenever we can and if we know he's going there with his full forces we know where all of his forces are going to be we can't carry on fighting a war of attrition against him we'll lose and lose slowly I say we take our forces we take what we have left and we throw them against him we know we know that the storm heart that he stole from the wreck of the star forge is there He's taken it there. Uh, we, we lost a lot of agents getting that information, but he's taken it there. If we can destroy that thing, I have a feeling that it's powering most of what he's using to get the sheer amount of droid troops that he is. 
if we can get rid of that start bit of, of the Stormheart, then we stand a chance of beating him. So I say we, we organize our forces into a spear and we go right for it to try to take it out. Mm -hmm. Sounds like a plan to me. Why arrived in the room? Hey, there's not. Why? I don't, what? Have I arrived in the room at this point? Am I there? Uh, you, you, you will arrive now. You say now, yeah. No. Okay. Okay. Right. Sorry, David. Okay. So I, I just, I just, yeah. There's, there's no winning a prolonged fight. Not when they seem to, yeah. Not when they seem to be constantly being reinforced. I agree. Um, so Sir Jonas? Jonas would have failed leader in um, what we know from Anasi. Um, okay, great. I don't no, feel like we need to roleplay that. But yeah. Um, no. Yeah, it sounds like that seems to be our only option to to strike at the heart of the city, as it, as it were. Are we are we not concerned about the potential destructive power of the Stormheart? I mean, if it can if it can churn out droids at this rate, what's to say it cannot be used as a weapon against us? If he figures out how to use the we that as a weapon, I think this war is going to be lost before it, in just a matter of days. The sooner we go after it, the sooner we can destroy it. The better chance we have of a, not of him not figuring that out. Very well. Well, I, I suppose we. It really is all or nothing now in this war, so. Let's do it. Um, would you suggest. Well, I'm speaking to Anasi. Um, would you su suggest a full frontal attack or any sort of diversions oh, yeah. or. No. no, no it, it, nothing like that. I, 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 I would suggest we take everything that we have left and we throw it straight at the Stormheart. That's all that matters. If we can knock that thing out, we take away his main source of power. Before he got that, this war was 50-50, and it was all up in the air. Since then, we've been fighting a losing battle, and I think the Stormheart, I'm convinced I know the Stormheart's the key to all this. Do we aim to destroy or capture? How is that destroy. Like? It's not worth oh, the are risk. We, are, we talking about, are we talking about the Stormheart or Varus himself? No, oh, the Stormheart. <laughs> oh, the Stormheart? Yeah, we destroy it. Okay. We destroy it. I, uh, it's not worth the risk. No. Just, yeah, I, I understand there's a lot of risk risk involved in it, but the way things are at the minute, it seems like we need some sort of advantage on our side in order to win the war. Things have gone too far. Maybe if we're left with a clear path to it, but other than that. I'm just throwing it into the risk. Effect. But yeah, it would be risky. So Right, let's let's stop talking. Let's let's get on with action. That's what we need to do now. Yeah. So we're all agreed then. Yeah. Thank you. Do you what do you know of the layout of redemption? Um he basically says, I, I have topography reports, but that's about it. Um, I honestly don't know much about the plan itself, I'm afraid. I, I know that there is a huge gouge in the earth, and that was caused by Darth Imperius. Well, how and why he did such a thing? Lost the time. Uh, one other thing that we know, and he pulls up like a, a piece of uh, uh, information on the on the headboard. He says, "This is most likely the last resting place of Darth Imperius. Most likely, it's very unlikely that his lightsaber will be anywhere else apart from with him in death." Okay. I think we've decided that we do a full frontal attack on redemption. Very well. When do we leave, General? When can you um, move? You're still in charge. I, I'm generally taking orders from you. 
As soon as possible, then. Ready the men. And we'll... Uh, he says, I'll, I'll ready the ships. Oh. All right. So, we will skip ahead a little bit. Away from that. Um, okay. So you guys are preparing for one final desperate roll of the dice against Darth Varus. <laughs> Something like that. Oh, okay. I, get, I get the joke. It's funny. Roll right. the dice. Next. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh god. Right. So, Drox, uh, you are standing overlooking a world, basically. Is this the uh, proper music for this? <laughs> Uh, can be if you want. I mean, the, the other one's like too like, oh, 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 oh and like, yeah, it's, it's not really I was, quiet. I was gonna say, I, I get the feeling of hope when I hear that music. Okay, let, let, <laughs> let, let, let's take away that. Bad guys. <laughs> there we, there we go. <laughs> All right. Well, that's All right. weird. All right. So you are overlooking a world um, which has a massive gouge in it. You're overlooking redemption mm. itself. And uh, Varus is there with his hands clasped behind his back, uh, standing next to you. He sees consent to stand there and sounds for now. If you, if you, can, you can talk to him if you want. <clears throat> uh, yeah, I'm going to say something to him. Uh... So what is our next move, Father? Mm. He had his eyes closed, but they, they come open when you talk to him. He says, um, I think it's time to let you into the inner thought processes behind this, this adventure. And he walks towards the, uh, the viewpoint. And it looks down onto the world. And the, the, the sun of the system sort of catches him a, a scan so yeah you can't really see his face for a little while but then he just says I'm dying dying is there is there nothing that you can do not that I know it's a disease it's called fade syndrome very 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 rare and only affects force users basically it's a corruption of the force within the soul within me it it heightens my power and eventually kills me. This armor will stave off the worst of it, but until I have the full set, I'll never be able to live normally. And he, he looks out towards the uh, the um, the planet. And he says, "This is why I wear a mask in combat. It's not for fashion." As he just, he just chuckles to himself. <laughs> Although it is very fashionable. <laughs> <laughs> no one likes a kiss, star son. <laughs> so how does the mask help you? He says it just helps with my breathing in moments of high exertion. I understand. So when are we going after the other pieces of the armor? He says, I think... I've leaked some information to the Republic. I have a funny feeling the other parts of the armor will be making their way towards very soon. Very good. And he says, uh, but I do have a job for you. Anything. He says, you are to take the Stormheart down to the planet's surface and look for the tomb of Darth Imperius. Once the Republic is defeated, this will be our new capital after this slate has been wiped clean at Coruscant. Hmm. Very, very powerful. Um, any reason in particular why this will be our capital? It's the death of it's the place of the death of Darth Imperius, the man who started the ball rolling on this venture. And as I complete his work, I will forge a new capital 
for a new empire on redemption. Can't think of a better place. Yeah, I mean, I look at it, it's, it's a, like a, a really lush garden world. Um, really, really nice. Uh, apart from the one massive scar that it has in it, which is just glowering red and angry. Apart from that, it's a, a beautiful garden world. Sweet. He says, we have one problem. We pinpointed the location of the tomb of Darth Imperius. It's, um... Well, I'm sure you can guess where it is. But he just looks at the planet. In the heart of the scar. Indeed. Why is that? Why does that pose a problem? Well, bear this in mind: that entire structure is only maintained by force fields that are projected from deep within the tomb. I don't doubt that if Darth, if, this, if the spirit of Darth Imperius thought that you were coming there to take his lightsaber from me, he'd drop those shields and take you and him with him. Mm. But this task I can lead to no one else. The Republic are coming here. Here, we can destroy them in one fell swoop. As you install the storm heart onto the onto the planet below. If you do that, then well, the battle will be won. We will have enough power to make all of the, all the droids that we need. And you've been you've been seeing quite a lot of time um, as people die off, you know. In the war with the Republic, you know, it's almost in the background. You don't really notice it at first, but like one person is replaced with a droid, then another person, then another person, then another. You know what I mean? So now it's like ninety percent of the crew is like droids that yeah. don't really talk, and they're um, the battle droids as well. So they're really modern tech. Um, they're extremely hard to kill, and there are tons of assassin droids on board as well. Absolute right. tons of them. Um, he says, you install that down there with the technology that we know is inside Darth, Darth Imperius' tomb and we can make an army for the ages. But we need to get the Stormheart away from this battle that's about to happen here. Once, if we lose that, we lose everything. You can trust me, Father. I'll handle it. Good. And he, he just looks away and he says, uh, he says, oh, and if you are to see that Jedi friend of yours, I expect you to do what must be done. Do you understand? I understand. And he, he walks off and leave, leaves you staring at the planet far below. Um, at that point, after he's mentioned Quint, Droxel, kind of like, like his inner um, fight between good and evil will kind of come, not to surface, but it'll you know, kind of be a blip in his mind. Mm. So okay, <clears throat> that's good. All right. So, um, you guys are tra the party is now traveling towards, uh, towards redemption. Sorry, <laughs> had a mind fart there, and it comes out of hyperspace. And almost immediately, uh, a huge space battle erupts. But before that battle can take place, you guys actually see the planet in front of you. Which is... What is this? Well, that's wow. awkward. So you can see there's the... Um, the scar in the planet mm -hmm. that was mentioned. Back of the scar. Yeah, less of a scar, more of a, you know... Cataclysmic event. Yeah. Basically, the planet was then mm. split in two. Nearly, yeah. Yeah. As it does, I guess. Alright. So, Janus, um, do you want to scan for, for tech down the planet? See what's down there? Yeah. Keeps you this fast. Um, I uh, want to scan the vicinity as well as the planet. And okay. The sky and stuff like that. Yeah. Okay. Intelligence roll, please. You can do this. 
Wow. What is this? Ah. Have a reroll, Sir Jemis. On me. Oh, uh -huh. yeah, thank you. Are you sure there's nothing there? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah you, 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 I don't think to... there's even a planet here. <laughs> it's just that. <laughs> you, you managed to oh, pinpoint the location of uh, Darth Imperius. Well, there's two, anyway. Okay. But right down there, right in the center of the... the uh, so your heart sinks when you see where it is, and you, you double check to make sure it's in the right place. Um, I think we have to go into all of that hellish place down there, and I point at the screen at that um, portion of the scar. You're always the bearer of good Quince news. Just gonna it little, it's just a uh, quince kind of reaching out for the force, trying to feel Varus uh, and Drox. Um, you, you can you can feel Varus and Drox, yeah. You, know, you can you can sense Drox far below you and Varus uh, much closer. Uh, but at, as that is going on, an actual huge space battle is occurring all the way around you. So the Republic is, fleet is. is throwing itself at the uh, much mm. larger Sith fleet, which is manned mainly by droids. Um. So yeah, invasive maneuvers. Huge fighty fights going on. Um, who's is driving the ship? Who's piloting uh, the me, ship? Me, me, I am. Let's do that. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna need ten perception rolls if you don't want to fight, but you can fight if you want. Uh, no evasive maneuvers. So let's, let's do that. Okay. Um, two crits. Two crits. Two fails. The rest of passes. All right. So, so you um, guide the Evan Hawk straight through the battle, and um, yeah, shots ring off the armor as you go all the way through, straight the way through the battle. And you, you, it's almost like you've gone through a storm, and then you come out onto the other side, and it's eerily quiet. And you look behind you, and you can just see the Republic fleet being decimated, but just hanging on enough. Um, but they can't seem to get anywhere near to the planet where the Stormheart actually is. But your ship, being the smallest that's there, actually gets through. So, all right. Did, and um, did any of our escorts make them. it through with us? Or? No, no. They're, they're, they're all embroiled in the, There are bigger ships, so they're embroiled in the battle. That okay. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm planning on gunning it as fast as possible down to the planet. So unless any of you stop me doing that, well. well We'll head straight into the base of the scar where Sir Janus is, is hopefully guiding me into. Yeah, I'm, I'm monitoring the systems and I'm tweaking the shields to make sure that we don't burn up. All and that. I'm just kind of, I'm just kind of, uh, you know, reaching out, like feeling where, feeling where Drox is trying to feel what he's the, like, he's thinking, and uh, you know, just kind of letting the force guide me, and because I know I'm going to fight him, I don't want to. I know I have to. So I'm kind of preparing okay. myself, man. <clears throat> All right. So you bust through onto the onto the underside of the clouds, and you can see or you can see a place to set the ship down on this area. But all the drop ships are now coming in all the way around you, and um, these are Republic drop ships. So you've sort of carved a path for them to come through. Mm. Okay. Okay. Good. So, stack the place to set the ship down. Um, I think we will set it down. Uh, well, an open area. So let's, let's set it down over here, on the high ground, or the low ground. Is that the high ground or the low ground? Is it high ground? Is it high ground or low ground? Yeah. It's over, Anakin. I have the high ground. <laughs> is that Dean? Is that high ground or low ground? Um, I, I think it's low ground. That, that, that is it low is. ground. That's low ground. That's is this high ground? That is high ground. Wait, we have cover over here. Let's set out. It's high ground. ground. No, it's cover. <laughs> We're exposed. I don't want to lose my legs. We're exposed there. <laughs> I don't want to lose my legs. <laughs> you will lose your legs. Scroll, pal. Uh, <laughs> just... Yeah. <laughs> so if you land in the low ground, it's foreshadowing. <laughs> it gives him a plus one to his attack roll. 
That's what he actually says. Where the hell are you on right. about, Quint? <laughs> Quint, can you um, can you feel a presence down on the on the planet? I'm just like this whole time. I'm just kind of seeing what I feel and reaching out. So that would be a thing. Do I feel anything? Um, you can feel that Drox is not in the battle where you are. Like he's far, he's far to the east and I'm down into the bowels of the planet. Drox is. I tell them Drox is already going into the scar. Ah, Drox is here. Well. I suppose that's fitting. We began this venture together, and I suppose we should end it that way as well. So we need to be prepared for him. I don't know whether he's turned fully to the to the, the dark side yet, but maybe we can we can get through to him. Maybe. Okay. I know um. Cool. Sorry, that's a lot of people. I don't like that. Okay, so there are lots of drone uh, droid Holy troopers. Crap. Here. I didn't even see that. <laughs> Take, yeah. Should have taken the high ground. It's basically fucking war and peace, basically. That's what's going on right now. You take the fucking high should've ground. Should have taken the high ground. You take the high ground then. Go on. <laughs> we'll stay here. So, uh, where are you guys? Uh, here. Are we, have we actually exited the ship yet, is the question. Because I have a feeling that the ship has turbo lasers that, you know, Sejanus could very well use. Mm. Just saying. Um, we can do that. Yeah. Because, I mean, exactly. we'd be able to see where we are before yeah. we exit the ship. Do I mean, I've tested that. that. I've we'd tested we'd see a crap ton of ships, that, uh, droids there, in the ship, uh, from, you know, from in the ship. I'm pretty sure we could notice them. And then, mm -hmm. you know, blast them with the turbo lasers before we decide to actually walk away. Yeah. Or exit the ship. Sounds good. Um, if we would, I'll take her up. To, well, um, I mean, there's cannons on the on the top and the bottom and the sides, right? Could we just blast the top cannon? Yeah. So Works. we'll do that. Um, okay. I think I think Leda is better at shooting, so maybe she might want to do that. Well, if if I man the man the top gun and then you man you both man the side guns, we can we can work it around that way. So I'll I'll run to make it to the the top yeah. gun. They're advancing on us. I know. <laughs> quickly, quickly. If the more we talk about it, the more they're going to move. Right. I'm going there. Shoot. Right. I'm on the top gun and we're going to shoot. So what do we do? <laughs> shoot the guns. Okay. Do the shooting thing. What is? Just keep rolling. Guys, uh, yeah, still just run. How many can shots does our cannon have? I don't bloody know. I'm six rolling dice. That's six shots. Well, there's crits there. Yep. Yeah. Uh, okay, that's six. There you go. Um, they all hit apart from the crit, which crits. So. Alright, so this is going to have to be the life ward save. 66. I'm looking for fours. Uh, one, two, are oh, splattered away into non-existence. Bang, bang. Oh, the rest is going to advance, and now Jonas, open fire. Fire! Quinn! Um, what the hell are you guys doing down there? Yeah, just six. So John's got one crit and, and five hits, right? Hmm? Right, to I'm in for the eight. I don't see. Right. One crit and five hits. Uh, so the crits. Well, it's going to go straight through the armor anyway. It'll be six hits. 66, looking for fours. Uh, one person is dead. God damn it, team. Wow. God damn it. I'm um, going to step. As they get close to the ship, I'm going to step out with my lightsabers and just start cutting them down. I, I have something for you. Yes? Actually. It's a little picture of hmm. Quint with his. About to to do to do okay. damage. If you do battle yeah, with, with uh yeah, sorry. I imagine he's got short hair and shit, and he's you know yeah, it's yeah military upbringing. As mm -hmm. we see from that image, they all surrender, so we're fine now. Yeah, 
That, yeah, that, good. That, in my head, that's actually Sejanus because, like, whoa, whoa calm down. <laughs> there's, 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 there's no need. <laughs> to get annoyed. Um, so yeah, that, that, that's that's yeah. a pinpoint from another time in the campaign, obviously. So, yeah. Yeah, there it is. Those eyes, though. Honestly. Yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna step out the ship and start cutting these guys down. I'm gonna work okay. on these ones. Like they're, they're one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, three, six, seven, twelve, fifteen, eighteen, twenty one shots. Okay. Are you sure you want to do that? I think. See you later. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, I would start. I, I'm not going to just let them, you know, blow up our ship. Okay. All right. I, I, for the record, I completely warned you. <laughs> so, there you go. Wouldn't I go? Uh, well, I would try yeah. to mission to see so I can get ahead of them before they can oh. attack me. You know what? I'm never going to roll as well when I play. Like, it's <laughs> never going to happen. Like, I'm literally never going to roll as well when no, I play. You're not. You're not. Do I get a chance to initiative seize before they all shoot me? Um, No, because you have to run over there. You know what I mean? To, I to teleport, initiative though. seize. Uh, yeah, it would be kind of fucking cheesy, though. Jeez, <laughs> I, I, I'll, I'll let you. I'll, I'll, I'll take three, six, nine shots off. If you can initiative seize, so these guys here will not shoot. If you can initiative seize, I did not initiative seize. Oh dear. Okay, so you need one, two, three, five crits in there. Four, five, six, seven, seven right. normal hits, and five crits. Okay. Well, um, I have uh, what you call it, the bullet deflection. And uh, a was it a three up dodge save? <laughs> okay. You yeah, have to so, bloody well to survive this. Okay. Well, the bullet deflection is um, is I guess a four up save before mm -hmm. armor. Mm -hmm. So I just for all of the shots. So that's twelve. Twelve. Mm -hmm. Yep. Six. Oh, well. Okay. So one, two, so five make it through my bullet deflection. Okay. Now my dodge save. Six. So one yeah. makes it through my my dodge. Okay. And then my life, my armor save, which is three up. Uh, goes straight through that. Wow. Oh, I don't well, know. It's three up on life ward ended, but either way. Uh, roll a d6 on on a one to three. Uh, the crit goes through, and on a four to six, the one of the normal shots went through. Oh. Okay, so a crit went through. Um, yeah. So that would be uh, forty damage. I'm still up. Oh no! Hey! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're very, 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 very Man, all of that. You only took forty damage. You're so lucky. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Okay. These are robots. It's a shame these aren't people because I'm pretty sure if they were people, they would just bail. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, nah, fuck it. Fuck just, this. just fuck the shit, we're out. No, yeah. no, 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 no. Alright, so, so I'm gonna do my combat then. Uh huh. Alright, so uh, eight attacks. I'm not even on the map, am I? I'm gonna reroll the 98. Okay, mm -hmm. so that's uh, one crit and nine hits. Okay. Seven, and they don't have close combat stuff, do they? Oh, 96. Uh, looking for fours. One dead, two dead, three dead, four dead, five dead, five dead. So, dead, dead, dead. Move yourself to the right. You're right. Dead, dead. No, the other way. There you go. Um, okay. And the rest? That's what was that crit. it? No, it's one crit. One crit, okay. Uh, roll d6. And it's five. Okay. Alright, guys. Nine. Try not to fuck this up this time. Who's next? Um, do they want to fire, or should we just fire? Uh, they just will fire. No, 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 the other ones, on the left-hand side, the right-hand side haven't fired yet. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Yeah, that was seven of them. Yeah. Less than half of them. 
Yeah. I'll let Leader go on first and she went first that time. It'll be 27 shots next time. I think that's going to find that general direction. Of the ship. Yeah. So. 100. Yeah, we do. Wow. Okay, okay, so normal hits. Right, right, right. One, oh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen normal hits. Jesus. Um, three quick hits. Nine, nine, though. One, so two, three. Yep. Yeah. Three crits and a ninety-nine. He's basically going to make this droid malfunction and explode after he shot. Hey. After he shot. After okay, he shot. <laughs> <laughs> so, 17 hits, 3 crits. Oh, is that all the ship? It's, they, yeah, um... it's generally going onto the ship, so you will get a 3 plus cover from the ship. Right. Which goes before your. You don't get a reflex, it just goes you know, before your. Um, I'll roll them then. Because you guys are sad at the turns, uh, I guess. Yeah. Hits. Um, what did you say? Four up or three up? Three. Oh, okay, that's four through. Mm hmm. That's four, four through for us. Uh, roll okay. three. So two three. each. Okay. Uh, um, just life awards for me, I guess. Uh, so one goes through, I think. Yeah. How much does that do? 20 that? damage. Hey. Why did you not do an armor save on that? Because they're in three, so... I don't, oh, I don't right. get on save. They go straight through three people. Yeah, yeah. same So, two up. Two up. <laughs> right. And then right. the others. Um, so two crits go through, so we'll have one each there, I think. That's 40 damage. Oh, well, that's, um, that's through the ship save, the cover save. Yeah, yeah, ship save. Oh, so, cover save. So right. Said she do do one um, armor save, uh, life ward save, whatever you need. Yeah. Uh, I fail again, so that's wow. 60 damage. I'm down. I'll re roll. So, re roll it, man. Oh! Yeah. I love your re rolls. He, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, he just busted you out the way. <laughs> um, he, 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 he barges into you and like falls on top of you and you're lying on the floor. And he, he, you know, see he's taking his time getting off you. He's just like, you know. So, Charles, get the fuck off me. What are you doing? I mean, yeah, oh, thank you. Yeah, that's what I'm trying Trying to hold back this feeling for so long. <laughs> Shut up, traitor. Get out of here. Right. Oh, no. Alright, I'm gonna re roll those two. Okay. That's just what I'm doing. God, two oh, of them. Uh, right. <laughs> so, so, five hits then, D. Uh, on the droids, yeah? On the droids, yeah. Right, okay. Five, four. Oh, what should the AN of your. I don't know, it's a ship gun. It was just four ups last time. <laughs> so, I'm gonna get threes again. So, fail, fail, fail? And what's the damage on the weapon? I don't know. It's ship damage. They just died. <laughs> oh, so oh, I thought he said shit. Dead. I thought he it's said just... shit. Right? Okay. Oh yeah, I'm firing shit at them. Yeah. Well, you know, I don't know. Shit them. <laughs> I've taken, <laughs> I've taken the vacuum toilet and then just it. it into the. I don't into know. The know the it's a shit gun. <laughs> okay, uh, it's a shit gun. Okay. Uh, who's next? <laughs> it's it's that, that, that was your go, wasn't it? That was, that was, your... that was my go. So, so John has hasn't fired his cannon yet. Yeah. Okay. Just done that three. MVP Sedge. Let's do it. Just three again. Three? three. My re-rolls are only for dual wielding, so I can't even do them. Uh, sad. What's your...? One dead. Oh. Wow. Alright. Brilliant. <laughs> hey. It's alright. Do these ship hey. guns not have AOE damage? Or splash damage? Uh, no. No. Okay, that's sad. And the two over the other side are gonna shoot at... The Jedi, just you know, XD one hundred. Uh, hit, miss. So one hit, two hit, three hit, four hit. Just five hits, normal hits. Okay. Full deflection. You said, um, how many hits did you say? Five. Five. Yep. Yeah. Full deflection saves one. Mhm. Mm We're getting tense. 
Uh, that saves three. Oh. Mm-hmm. Ah, oh, fuck's sake. It's always yeah. the one. Always the one. That's it. GG. All right. So oh, that's be 20 damage. Yeah. yeah I'm unconscious. Oh, no. Finally happens. And then Drox swoops in and stabs him with the lightsaber. And <laughs> <laughs> what a dick. Prince final words. What a dick. You guys, who's next? <laughs> um, these these droids over here would like to fire at us, I presume. Mm-hmm. I don't know why I keep reminding no, no, you. No, they're that, good. But, they're, they're good. It's fine. Huh? Yep. So we got uh, one, oh. two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Another nine hits. Nine. One explodes. Nine hits. Uh, one does explode. After he's got his crit hit. So one, two crits. Said you roll this time. Let's do it. Nine hits. Um... So just do 96 for the ship. Yeah. And then, uh, Should I do, do the crit separately? Yeah. Um, yeah, do them separately. Yeah. Oh no. Here we go. Well, it's saved at least. Yeah. Two saved. Three saved. No. Ah. Yeah. Four saved. Two. Five saved. How many have I done so far? Five. Seven, seven so far. Right. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Seven. Oh. So, okay. four, three. so five saved. Five saved. Four, three, five saved. Um, One more. So do two each then. No, that was nine. That was nine. Yeah. That was nine. nine. Okay. Yeah. Um. All right. Two each then. Nine wasn't. Yep. Twelve. Oh. Okay. I oh okay. That's sad. Right. Um, oh, light boards, these, uh, aren't they? So, yeah, they're both fast. Mm. Yeah. Um, Dean, do you want to randomize the crit for us? Uh, yes. There was two crits. We have one each. There was two crits, yeah. Even though one was 99, we have two crit, one each. But we need to see if the ship, yeah, no, but ship serves it first. Oh, I'll, I'll do that. Fine. Fine. No. no. One gets through. Right, do you want to randomize the crit then? Yeah. I'll randomize the crit. Should really be the person who's taking the throw takes it, but yeah, well, I'll do it. yeah, that's forty there's damage. There's two of us, so yeah, pass it. all right, <laughs> yeah, I'll pass it. Okay, right, I'm still alive, just so because I took one of the hits. Okay, right. uh, Quinn, let's go, let's do it. Am I conscious? Oh, you're unconscious. Oh, good job. Um, <laughs> I killed seven guys myself. A good job. I blocked. I blocked like twenty-five shots and killed five of them. Fuck off. He sounded really British then. Way to just go again. Fuck off, my friend. Fuck off. Leader's going to turn to um to aid Quint in in his sleeping. So six hits on those two guys. I fucking took out like a third of them while getting while taking shots from fucking all of them. So I get no all those are hits. They're all hits, yeah. All sixty-six. Yes. Uh, one, two. So That's one more two. die. No, they're over here. Oh, oh, I want these ones dead, okay. so that Quint's still alive. Well, they're not going to attack him because they don't attack things that down. Well, no, I'm trying to, I'm trying to avenge Quint, okay, and save him. So one, I think down. he might have fallen over. So one, he's mm -hmm. on two. Uh, two the only fight, yeah, but it, twenty damage. How oh, much damage did your thing do? I don't know. It's, it's, a, it's, a, oh, it's a ship. It's a cannon. It's a ship gun. It's a cannon, right? It's yeah. Sorry, gun. sorry. Right. The ship's not there. I'm I know. There. It's you. Okay. Uh, okay. So they're dead. Oh, All right. Six, 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 yeah. six. I was going to say they're all dead because that's a really good roll. So that's it. They got annihilated. Ah. Okay. MVP Sedge. MVP Sedge. Sedge. And I, I, I run As out and use a trauma kit on Quint. 
Okay. What are Quinn's first dick. words when he's back in the land of okay. the conscious? What a dick. He cried. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Right, uh, does the, uh, how much does the trauma kit actually heal me? I think it, does it not take you to 15 or something? I can't remember. Yeah, sounds about right. Right, well I probably should heal myself. You're just gonna heal yourself anyway, so it doesn't matter. Are you, are you hurt? Me? No, I'm fine. No, uh, uh Lena's hurt. Alright. Well, I'm in the ship because I didn't give a shit about coming out and helping you. So you can you can come in and heal me if you want to. Well, uh, are you within thirty feet of me? I I am hurt. Yeah. Yes. Pretty bad. Uh, uh, Force mass heal is everyone at thirty feet. Yeah, oh, okay. Cool. That sounds good. Mm-hmm. Oh, she is. Well. How much time? And it's a crit. Oh. Well, oh. let's hope not, because. Oh. Oops. That's the not. Sus- that's the suspense is building. <laughs> that's not a crit. So we all we get healed. Uh, 25. Is that all? That sucks. Right. Well, I don't. I only have four six. And I actually, I don't know what the plus is for four six. You have one job, Quinn. Come on, one job. <laughs> right. You know what? You know what? <laughs> Fuck you. All right. And then you, then you, you went and fell asleep during the battle. Yeah. Right. Come on. Let's go. I roll. fucking. <laughs> fuck you guys. It's <laughs> bullshit, guys. Bullshit. So you all guys right. fucking take out okay. fucking that many people. Okay. All right. So. You guys move on. Um, the battle is still raging around you, but you cleared your area, so you can get you can get on to the uh, and you come to and an, an you come to an outcrop that overlooks the scar itself. And as you look into it, you can see oh, Jesus. the start of a facility. Oh, wow. That looks like nasty lava. I don't like. And Anakin Obi Wan on a droid. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Can't believe you see him like skating around. That was yeah. like the most yeah. stupid part of the entire fucking prequels, honestly. That part. I was like... Which part? Like, when they're standing on those fucking droids. Like, yes, oh. that's quite on there. No, why would you do that? There's a no... Because it look cool. No one's watching! No one's supposed to be watching. Why? why? Oh. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, th- this is the inside of the scar. Uh, you're seeing this from quite high up, so you'd have to climb down to get to this. Get to this thing. Oh, the good old turtle climbing. Okay. Oh, Give me a second, guys. I've got a phone call. All right. Just, just in the interlude. Can anyone see a face here? Because, like, I can see a mouth here, an yeah. eye, uh, two two eyes here, and then there's yeah. like a little nose here. I can see that too. Yeah. You see it too. Yeah. Mm. That's quite funny. Right. So, climbing, eh? This is gonna go well. Climbing. We're climbing. We can't down remember next the, the first session of the campaign. Everyone sucked at climbing. <laughs> yeah. Shut up! You don't get to speak. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um. So yeah, it's uh, perception and then strength, and then your speed to to counteract misses. You know, to counteract. Okay. So perception first. Whoever's going down. So Jonas, you're you're usually good at these types of things. Do you wanna do you wanna oh, go really? first? Yeah, yeah, I'm brilliant at these. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll just set up the Mac since we're probably gonna be doing this quite a bit. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. What was it? Perception then strength and speed. Okay, oh, this is yeah, gonna go. Well. Close. Yes. Oh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you can you can see things, yes. Right. Sorry guys, I had uh, work, or it's called about work. No worries. Sorry. And now um, strength is it? So she, yeah. Uh, no, 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 no. It, it's it's only yeah, strength actually. Yeah, strength. Sorry. No, no, yes. You didn't miss yes, much. No, no. You didn't miss much, David. There, you, you guys are about to climb, so that's fine. This is a yeah. part where I do my best. Yeah. What, yeah. What's your strength, Sedge? One. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so, so you're, you're needing a speed to counteract your fall? Well, my speed is 10, so it's impossible to fail, provided I don't get 99. No, no, 90 don't, or above is always a... Uh, don't, don't tempt fate like that, Sir Jonas. Come on. Yeah, <laughs> yeah t- twice per combat, Quint, not twice. Are you, are you in combat? No. no. Are you in combat? 
I'm in yeah. combat with the lava. Yeah, but. but <laughs> Oh, oh. Okay, I, I, I'm just gonna say, say that oh you, you, you fall and everyone's like, No, Sejanus! And you're like one of those fucking squirrels, you know, that glide. Yeah, and you just like <laughs> open, your, open up your shit, you're like, Oh no! And you like <laughs> open up your arms and legs. And you sort of like glide down like a fucking uh, hanging squirrel. Yeah. And that like, land pretty roughly on the floor uh, of, of the complex here. <laughs> and you get up and dust yourself down. You're like, What the fuck? <laughs> And look where everyone else is like looking at you like with puzzlement on the face. Yeah. Yeah. That was impressive. What? Don't know how right. I did that myself. <laughs> yeah, someone else to say to myself. Yeah. Yeah. Leads is um, normally like okay about looking good, but she feels like she can't really follow that. So <laughs> she's just gonna sort of climb down really tentatively. Yeah. And, uh, and try best. Okay, that's a fail on perception to start off with, so that's good. Yeah, so you um, can't see where to put your feet, but you're going to go anyway. <laughs> I'm going to go anyway. Uh, that's a pass on strength with two. Wait, can, can I try to, like, <laughs> help? No, she, she, she's fine. She's going down. She's going down. Oh, fine. Okay. Okay. I need your help. It's quick. Okay. Yeah, my perception's only four, so this should be interesting. Hey! Right. <laughs> so now you do you your uh, strength roll. Alright, my strength eight. Mm hmm. Yep, so you, you, you calm down a bit quicker than Leader. So, Leader, you're next. Bloody show off, Quinn. Honestly. Right, uh, pass and uh, fail strength, so. Uh, yeah. Speed. Speed. Pass, Ooh, speed. Nice. Oh, nice. Oh, you crit. Uh, you, you, you fall off and you go tumbling down, and. Uh, but you actually you are actually halfway down now, so you just go sliding down the rock, and you manage to. Uh, in fact, yeah, you manage to just slide down here onto one of the uh, ramparts down here. Yeah, she's really surprised with this. Unhurt. Yeah, does, does, does I'm just like I, I'm like, I'm like about to reach to grab. Her. I'm I'm, try, I'm like about to reach out to grab her, and then she's flying. I'm like, oh, okay. I'm yeah. Keep going, man. <laughs> so perception and strength again. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. And then strength. That's still a pass. Oh yeah, no, yeah. that's not a pass. Oh, no, sorry, so, I forgot. So, so do speed. That's bad. Yeah, so you see, you just you just limber down like the overpowered Jedi you are, and just like come down, <laughs> nice and normal. <laughs> Not down. N no fuss, just as you are. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> no shame. You guys can do all your crazy falling and near death. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna come down. Yeah, <laughs> he's gonna climb down. <laughs> all right, um, we're gonna go inside the complex now. To uh, Drox. Uh, Drox. Yes. You are in incredibly tired, and you're actually in the main central complex of the tomb itself. Can, can you? Can you say that again? You turned into a robot for me. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. You are incredibly tired. Like you've gone through the entire complex. You fought many enemies to get this far. Um, yeah, I did. And you're you're seeing basically what you can see in front of you now, which is uh, ceremonial weapons, lightsabers mainly, laid out on dais on either side of the room, and the main casket of Darth Imperius at the top of the room. And you are here. You just walk down into the. Into the area. Okay, hold on. Let me draw myself. Okay. Um, I'm gonna reach out with the force. See what I feel. You sense a great presence coming from the casket itself. Okay. Well, then I will just go forward. Hey. If, if the damn thing will let me. Just want to find out that stream won't say this. Huh? The stream won't be seeing this because the. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Yeah, just letting you know. <clears throat> okay. Alright, what do you want to do up there? Uh, I'm gonna, I guess, lift the, the top of the casket up to open it. Okay. As soon as you touch it, uh, a visage appears in front of you of a man behind a gridironed mask, 
uh, quite powerfully built, with his uh, hands behind his back with dark robes on, <coughs> and he basically disregards you up and down, and then reaches his hand to his face and takes off his mask. Um, and you can see that it's just a man, just a normal man. Uh, you can see that there were there are scars on his face of uh, force corruption, but they faded. It's almost like like he had. He was very emerged in the dark side, and then it went away again. Mm -hmm. um, and you can sense from the, the force radiating from this person, it's actually Darth Imperius himself. Standing. So is he is he like an apparition, or he's a force spirit? Okay. All right, I'm gonna I'll kneel to him out of respect. Oh, Place, okay. uh, fist over my heart. Uh, you, you you have a, a call on your communicator. Uh, I'm gonna look to Imperius to say, "Hold on, I need to take this." It's and <laughs> yeah, he, he just uh, his head. I'll answer it. <laughs> uh, yeah, so it's it's Barris. He says, uh, uh, "Son, I have been informed that our friends are in the complex right behind you. I'm coming in with a with some of our best honor guard. They should arrive before me, but I uh, keep them busy. I'll be there soon to reclaim my armor." Okay. He switches See you off. Soon, sir. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna turn back around. Okay. Uh, now where were we? Uh... He says that that man that was your father, was it not? It was quite a man. I like to think so. So what would you want with me and my place of rest? Uh, we've we've come to claim your uh, your lightsaber. Ah, but it appears you are not alone, my boy. And uh, you sense the force behind you. I'll turn around to look. Okay, give me a second. Um, yeah, the five five Jedi have walked into the room. Right. Um, who must have fought the way down from the battle above? Okay. And they immediately that like, like leap toward you, and uh, draw the lightsabers. I'm gonna roll for initiative. Oh. Hmm. See if I remember how. Initiative uh, C, roll a D6. Four okay. plus. Yeah. Uh, mine says three plus. Yeah, right. I think I think it has changed to three plus for some reason. Mm. So it wasn't good enough already. It's not three plus. Oh. Yeah. You yeah, like seven noises. Okay. Uh, so I am going to do Force Maelstrom. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, special rule okay. instead. Okay. So one of these three. is a boss character, so he will not die from instant death, but he will get a double critical on him. It's ten ten D one hundred, right? Yep. For now. It's changing soon. For now, it's true. It's changing. Uh, that's, that's unlucky. I do not see any. That is very unlucky. It is very unlucky. Well, I still have... I mean, does that take up my whole turn? Because I still have three more moves. No, but you can't do the same power twice. You can't okay. go, I'll do it again. It's, uh, yeah. Okay. Um... I guess I'll lunge forward. Sounds good. My lightsaber. Your saber staff? You yeah. go first. You go before all these guys. Alright. It still did a um, crap ton of damage to them, didn't it? No, it didn't it didn't no. It, it if didn't. It, death doesn't go through, it doesn't hit. That's it. Oh. But right, um, therein lies its disadvantage. You can use up your entire In fact, yeah, that is your entire turn, yeah. It's instant death. Is it? Yeah, yeah it's your entire turn. Instant oh. death. So oh, okay then, never mind. That's unfortunate. Oh. That is unfortunate. And I guess um, I'm still right here. Yeah. So they're just gonna rush forward 
and basically attack you all at once. Okay. Um, you get a sense that uh, Imperius is watching you very intently to see how you do. Like he was a okay. very good swordsman himself back in the day. Mm. So, um, three, six, nine, twelve. <laughs> okay. Oh dear. Okay. We're both making some bad decisions with combat. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. I see four crits. That's yeah. Yeah, good luck with that. Yeah. Uh yeah, but you can you can you're gonna reply with all eight of yours, I I assume. Eight? Well, how many hits is that? Uh one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. What do you mean? He doesn't mean? have any. He what doesn't do have eight, eight attacks. <laughs> oh, how I don't many attacks? Get how many attacks? No. How many I attacks get, do you have? I get four. I don't dual wield like Wayne okay. does. So, so, so you just do four. And you die horribly. What? Um. Hold on, I'm I'm reading real quick just to make sure like I have this on. Before oh, I your form <laughs> gets you extra tax, doesn't it? Um, my f oh yeah, I didn't roll. Well, no, I, d I didn't use my lightsaber, so I didn't I didn't get to use my extra attack. But I do get buffs for uh, rolling. Uh, but negative uh, sixty with a saber staff. Uh, buff to attack rolls against lightsabers. Okay, so so. This is defensive, so that wouldn't count, right? No. Okay. But I do get rerolls, so it's okay. Mm-hmm. We'll, we'll say these are for the crits if you want. Oh, shit. Um, so two of the crits are gone straight away. Okay. Um, so that gives you an attack, two attack rounds to use. Okay. I'll tell you what, if you, ki if you kill people, it takes their attacks away. I think that's fair. I think mean, that's more than fair. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna roll my d6 from my form to see if I get a six, mm -hmm. and I do not. So, um, all right, minus sixty. Uh, I, I, it's not gonna do it all because like I'd have to do them one at a time. Otherwise, mm -hmm. it's not gonna take that into account. So, okay. Yeah. Um, one. Two. Oh, natural one. Oh, oh shit. One. Right. Okay, don't do any more. One, uh, one, two, three, four. So uh, that'll be one, two, three hits. So um, roll three, d six, uh, needing a four. Okay, one Jedi is cut down, so that's three attacks off the total. And the... What about the three? Does that count for anything? The three? Where's the three? Oh, well, no, I, the, what you rolled, you said you need one in a... I needed a four. To save it, right? Yeah. Okay, so that was... Two went through then? Yeah. Yeah, two went through, so, so one guy died. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Yeah, you, you got chopped up. Okay. Um, and you have a crit there. Which is natural, you know what, natural one, I'm just going to say another one is just killed straight away. Because that's a natural one, and that's telling you. I, I still have one more combat round, you said I yep. get two. Yep. Okay. So. so this is actually, I'm quite happy, this is how Saber Staff works. You uh, let people come onto you, and then you, you know, you fuck shit kill up. them by, <laughs> you know, misdirection. I'm sure that. Uh, okay. One hit, two hit, three hit. And four. Great. Ooh. Uh, so four hits, so four, all, four d six. Need fours. Uh, two dead. Two more dead. It was what three three hits and a crit, right? Yep, four hits okay. and a. Uh, oh yeah. I, I have four attacks, so three hits and a crit. Okay, so, um, so one of them's actually alive still. Yeah. I, I actually know it's the same result if I fail this. So, roll. D6, I need five. Oh, okay. Nice. He survives the, uh... Okay, so, three, six, nine attacks gone. So all their attacks are cancelled out by your defensive display. Basically. So, your turn. Okay. One... Two... 
that's a crit. Three and four. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> Alright, okay. Awkward. Um, so two. Roll two d6 for one is now dead. And the two crits, two d6, even fives, and he is really dead. Uh, but what happens is, uh, as he dies, he cuts your lightsaber in half. God <laughs> damn it, I just got it! <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, that's what happens. So am I dual wielding now? Or You're like, dual wielding now, yeah. So then do I get eight attacks? <laughs> do you have the speed and the, t the strength to dual wield two lightsabers? You need uh, ten speed and eight strength to do it. Yeah, I don't. I have. I have the speed. I do not have the strength. What strength do you have? <laughs> uh, let me see if I put anything into strength. Uh, <laughs> I have That's one. Not... Oh one no, 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 no. Oh, right. Yeah. right. So, so, okay. so what, what I will allow you to do is, um, you could actually repair that. It's not not a bad gouge. It just means the the blade flickering. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you can repair it, or you can ask uh, your friend over there to repair it, if you wish. How would one go about repairing it? Uh, well, it'd be using the force. Just... Okay. Mm -hmm. In fact, I, I, I will let you keep it as a dual-wielded lightsaber if you take three off of your uh, force score, because you're using the force to keep the blade on and keep it steady. So you go from uh, 10 to 7. Uh, yeah, I like my 10. <laughs> um, uh, is that my only option? Uh, all right, I'll give you. I'll give you um, two. Take two off. Three is a bit much. So I can't repair it. Just take take two off my force. Okay, yeah, that's it. Okay. Yeah. Mm. You did say you could ask the operation. Hmm. Yeah. What? You stop the lightsaber sounds. Dean did say that you could speak to the Imperius's force ghost or whatever it is. Oh. Yeah, I guess I'll talk to him. See what he has to say. He basically is just like, uh... That was very impressive. Rather bracing. Is there anything you can do about my lightsaber? He says, uh... Is there anything you can do about the blood of my tiles? Yeah, I can clean it up. <laughs> Sorry about he, that. He, he, he just looks at you ex expectantly, like, just didn't even... <laughs> Get scrub it, boy! Get so scrub it! So is that a no? Get scrub it, boy! At that point, we Puts walk in with uh, Drox with a mop and bucket. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, four marigolds, apron, <laughs> everything. Oh, dear. So is that a no? <laughs> he, just, he, he, he doesn't reply. He just looks. At you. you know what? He's he's gonna he's gonna take his robe and just wipe the blood. <laughs> okay. Um, I, 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 as you do that, your uh, lightsaber spontaneously begins to fix itself as the mechanisms are put back into place, and the metal is actually fused together by the force. <laughs> so that's it's, it's at full tilt. Again, and you can have your force back. Well, thank you. Sorry about the blood. Sorry about the lightsaber. Yeah, well, all is all is all is well now. So, anyways, like we were saying, um, my father would like to claim your lightsaber, and he sent me to get it. He says, "Your father." wants my lightsaber so he sends you and as impressive as you are why didn't he come himself there was a man who sends such people to do his work deserve my lightsaber would you think or would you be a more fitting recipient of it mm. I mean, don't get me wrong, I would love your lightsaber, but, you 
know, my father is basically the leader. You know, I, I take orders from him. What a good little underling you are. And he just, like, steps down from the, the dais and, like, looks around. And he looks at you. And he says, I can sense something in you that was rather present in myself. There is a conflict in you between light and dark. There are two sides to Drox Valen, isn't there? You'd like to think that you're a Sith Lord. You'd like to think that you're heartless. You'd like to think that you are the equal of the people up there fighting and dying for this new empire. But you're not, are you? You're not. You're Drox. And you always will be Drox. I won't sit here and lie to you because, you know, it is obvious to you. Uh, my weakness is the crew that I, you know, came up with. I, my father wants me to destroy them and I do not. He says, uh, having friends, my boy, is not a weakness. You've met some of mine, some of whom are still alive by by any stretch of the imagination should be impossible, but they stay there to protect what is mine. You know, I forged the galaxy anew. I, I curated peace for the first time between Jedi and Sith because I had friends. Now, it only took one powerful Jedi to turn to the dark side to destroy my work. Your father <laughs> thinks he's protecting it. In fact, he's bringing it all down. He already has. But, I sense potential in you. You could be so much more than a pretend Sith. So I offer you this. You can have the codes to my legacy. It's a vast sum of credit and a gargantuan army of battle droids hidden in the outer reaches. With them, you could sweep both sides away and restore peace under a single banner once more. I joined my father because what he was telling me is that he was going to restore order to the galaxy, but under the Sith. And you know, with, with all that came immense power. But I'm offering you the same thing, but for you, and not the man who abandoned you when you were a child. You know what? Let's do it. He says, uh, good choice. Anyway, we'll um, go back to... Oh yeah, five Sith Lords are bro uh, walk into the room behind you. And uh, they just say, uh, ah, uh, Lord, Lord Vericon, uh, we, we made it as fast as we could. Uh, I think uh, a Jedi and his team are very close to entering the temple. I see you've already met a few of them. He looks down at the dead Jedi around you. Yeah, I, uh, I met them, so to say. Uh, I've got everything here. I do not need you. He says, um, good, good. And, and he, um, whoops. Uh, Go sweep the surrounding area for anyone else trying to come in here. If anyone should be doing sweeping, sure it should be you. Hmm? No. He, uh, <laughs> he he basically uh, he says he says I, I I will I will yeah yeah yes this Lord Vericon and like walks away and uh, so the, these are the five here that are around you okay and they're just gonna go sweep the area around here Thanks. Right, now we're gonna go to the back to the party again you guys are in the temple complex in the tomb. Of Darth Imperius, mm. ba, ba, ba. and there we go. In fact, I'll put Drox over there as well, since you know you may as well watch this. I didn't want you guys to see what was in the other room, but you can see it's in this one. Uh, reveal. Do 
So since I you know, since I'm a, a trader of both sides now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, right. yeah. 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 And I'm making friends. Yeah, you are. <laughs> what you, it's what you do best. Right, let's uh let's do this thing. I'm going for different blue today. I'm feeling it. Hmm. Alright. What do you guys want to do? You can see a big steel door in front of you. Um, in fact, do you want to take a quick five minute break and then we'll do the last half an hour, 45 minutes? Yeah, sounds good. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I'm going to get myself a cup of tea. Uh, leave, leave the stream <laughs> on. We'll, uh, yeah, that way. I will. Okay. I'm going to go get something food related. Right <laughs> a minute. Cool. Actually, you know what? I think I'm gonna get a snack too. I'm kind of hungry. Everybody back? Yeah, I'm no? back. Hello. Fine. Well, since you're the only one that answered. <laughs> What's that? It's a pretty warm night here. Oh yeah? Yeah, I don't know what. 
temperature. <coughs> yeah, it's uh, it's always warm where I am. Yeah, I couldn't stand it. I don't. I'm really not a heat sort of person. I think I'd like to live in an active country, to be honest. Hello. Hello. So. Not bad. Howdy. Doody doody do. Doody neighborino. Dean mm -hmm. was saying that you fancy playing GTA there, Chance. Yeah, him and I played, uh, I think a couple weeks ago, and, you know, he set me up in the, um, the company, whatever. Cool. Yeah, I, I, I really enjoy it, I just, you know, I never had anyone to play with, so, you know, now that I know that you and him play, I can jump on when you guys are on or whatever. I mean, I don't have a lot of time, considering how much I work, but, yeah. you know. I was telling him after this, if uh, he was up for it, I'd be up for playing for a little while. Yeah. Should. I'll be up out for a bit. I have to get up at 6 o'clock in the morning, so... Oh, man. On sort of when it's, we finish. Oh, what, it's like 10 o'clock right now? Yeah. For you guys? Yeah. yeah okay. So I don't know yeah, I have, to get up. To I have to get up at uh, 2.30 in the morning, so I'm going to be going to bed at around 7 my time. Wow. Everyone ready? Yeah, we, we start we start early at my job, so and I have a long commute. I live like seventy miles from work. Jesus. Well wow. yeah. So I have about three hours of commuting every day with traffic. Yeah, I yeah. have like eight minutes commuting. Yeah. But <laughs> I just got a I just got a new car that gets really good gas mileage, so that's uh it helps a lot. Good. But either way, yes, I am. I'm ready to proceed. Mm. Me too. Yeah. Yep. All right. Happy Wednesday. <clears throat> okay. Um. So you guys want to go to the door? What do you want to do? Yeah. Do yeah. we hear anything? Does it sound like no. there's anything going on? No. Right. And I want to look at the door. Does it look like it's got a there is no lock. Handle. No, there is no <laughs> lock. It, it it just looks like it opens. It should open from bottom to top. I don't know. Hey, did you um, like, like, like you pull it up, you know. All right. Um, would you like to take a lightsaber to it? Quick. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't know how I'll, probably, I'll, I'll probably see if I can reach. Yeah, do it with force. Yeah, it opens. Open hey. doors. Oh, that's just sad. Now you have to hold it while we walk through. That's that's fine. You can do that. Okay. You can just fine. Just, just do a force check. Just make sure you can hold it up. All right, let's make sure I can hold that. Uh... This is how me and Leader die uh -oh. when he drops it on us. Yeah. yeah. Oh, um... <laughs> <laughs> Did that rank or <laughs> force six? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. You can hold it up with that. It's fine. Okay. So... Can we run <laughs> run through quite hurriedly? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna deny that I may have picked you know stepped quickly through the door, um, and whatever you guys do, <laughs> I would I wouldn't recommend deadly dallying. Yeah, okay. no one's dallying nor dallying. There it is. There it's being one. It's certainly not dilly dallying. Too far. Right. What are we, what's in here, Dean? What can we see? It's just a, a normal corridor with a bench. I might sit on the bench. That. <laughs> sit on the bench. <laughs> no, no, not really. We sit and have a picnic. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Yeah. No. Is, um, and I'm I'm gonna reach out with the force to see wh um, where people and Sith are. Uh, you can see an inscription on the walls when you're in there. Mm. I'll leave that to Sejanus. I'm gonna try to locate people in here. Okay, so so Jonas reads the inscription. See a doorway. Door. Uh, the inscription reads, uh, "Here lie thine enemies. Face 
each that I faced. I let uh, Quint know what it says, because I assume he can't read. Mm -hmm. What? <laughs> well, you left it for me, so it's kind of like... Um, you know. Anyway. I just... Okay. Rude. <laughs> Rude. I don't know, Rude. I've never... So Janice has never seen you read anything, so... I have read things! Uh, I'm I not good with technology! I'm just assuming that Quint is a half-wit. So. <laughs> Fuck off! <laughs> God! I've seen no what respect. Quint's like on the holo terminals. Alright, let's get on with it. Let's get on with it. We're getting it. Right, okay. Alright, right. Can we go through here, Dean? Is that yeah. open? Yeah. Right, let's go through there. Let's go. He's gone. Oh, God, okay. It's you can time. see a, a casket in the middle of the room. Obsidian. Is, has it been opened? Or is it no. just... No, no, it's okay. a bit light. So. Well, I'm not really keen on defiling graves, so we can just stick around that for a bit. Um, is there anything else to note in the room? I'd like to look around. Uh, not really. There are like um, votive offerings left in different pots, and there, in what in the um, next to the casket itself, there is a a, a bladed handled lightsaber hilt. I'm gonna reach out with the force to see if I can, if this feels like Imperius, because I've spent enough time around his artifact. No, no, it doesn't. The dark side is extremely gonna... strong and extremely violent coming off of this thing. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna t tell them hold on. Uh there's something <laughs> wrong here. <coughs> okay. Sorry. Bless you. Okay. We'll step back. Um over here. In the doorway. Yeah. I th I'm I don't think this is the the right way. We should go. We should okay. go, okay. That would be evident from the dead end. If that's, if that's what you feel, then we, sh we shall go. Where do you want to go? But you're only one way to go, really. There's only one way to go, then. So you open the door, and it uh, to an alcove like this. Okay. Hmm. What's this in the center? That is a... Well, this is a spiral pattern. But it shows what you can see on it. Um, for a while, you can't really see much. You just oh, it's a nice pattern, but then you realise it's an actual map of the galaxy. Oh, nice. Okay. And it just glows and uh, it actually projects. When you step in it, it projects uh, a light show of the galaxy in motion, swirling around. At the sacrifice of the person who stood on it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, <okay. laughs> I'm not one. And that. And a dead. No. Yeah. Um. I'm dead. Right. Is there is there anything on this thing that um I don't know how, how best to describe this. Is there anything on it that points to certain alcoves over others? So is there anything of note in that? No. That's what it's not planets that are highlighted or anything no. like that? No? Okay. Alright. Um Leap will go um this way. Are these stars are just um there you go, that way. Uh, okay, there's, there's a, another room here. I'm reaching out with the forest trying to find rocks. <laughs> and uh, you can see an inscription in there. Um, us? Wait a minute, can I read it? Is it in... No. No. So Janus. See, this is why I left this as Janus, because I assumed it would be in another language. But if so, it was in another language, literate. then he wouldn't be little then. But, yeah, it's just normal, <laughs> It's an ancient Sith, basically. Okay. Yeah. There's what, something it? here, I can't read it. I I can't read it. Do I need to do intelligence? Yeah. Uh, Doesn't need to be a good roll, this can be. Oh, why is keeps forgetting my things? Right? Yeah. yeah. As you can see, it says, here lies the first emperor. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, looks like this could be his casket or whatever. I'm going to uh, I'm gonna reach out with the force again before, like, I'm going to, like, kind of st um, stop it for a second, put a hand in front, mm -hmm. so he doesn't go and touch it yet. And reach out for the force, because 
Yeah, yeah. There, there, there is a roiling torrent of dark side energy coming from this thing. But is it, is it feel like a parrot? No. Not in the um, slightest. I'm gonna, t I'm gonna like put uh, Sedona and say it's not him. Uh, there's something in there, but it's not. It's not a parrot. And I'm gonna step back in, like, and I'm gonna kind of guide him back out of the room. And <laughs> I, I'm just gonna kind of re reach out for like for Drox or Imperius's energy, see if I can like I can feel which direction they're coming. You towards. can't feel anything of that at the moment. The, the dark side energy in this place is too strong for that. Did you go in there then? Yeah, let's go this way, boys and girls. Yep. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna follow. I'm gonna follow them and just one by one, just check to see if any of them feel like him. Mm -hmm. Does this one I feel like the, the, the inscription on this one's too worn to make out. Yeah. Well, that's useless. And and it, nothing it, here, it, even dark side energy is ebbed away when you feel it, Quinn. But it's they're still there, but it's not. Yeah, put some, whatever's here has been withered away over the years. There's nothing here for us, Quinn. You can't feel the energy. <laughs> oh, I meant the inscription. Uh, I... I don't know anything. <laughs> I don't know shit about the force. I'm, I'm just gonna kind of like I'm just kind of like following them and like trying to feel it and just keeping them from touching anything. Uh, there is an inscription on this one. There is. Yeah, there is. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> The skills are needed. Okay, and it just says here here lies the first true adversary. Okay. Hmm. I like the US now. And I said, and again, is this one not him again? No, it's not him. Yeah, like it's <laughs> this isn't his either. <laughs> Next one. It's fucking kids. Thank you. Uh, you can see a stone tablet. Which is uh, radiating both dark and light side energy. When you feel it, Quint. I'm gonna kind of reach out to it and kind of try to see what you know, mm. what what it is more. Try to understand more about it. Um, uh, uh, as you touch it, a visage of Darth Imperius uh, comes up, and uh, he says, uh. You have touched the Imperi the holocron of Darth Imperius, where all of my knowledge, beliefs, and teachings are stored. I am here to help guide you in your training and to navigate you through its complex diversities. State your name. I'm Quint Sale. He says, uh, So, Quint, what can I do for you? The... We have, and we're here to stop the chaos spreading throughout this galaxy. I have absolutely no notion of what you're talking about. I am a an artificial intelligence based on Darth Imperius's own own mind, imprinted here to guide those who want training in his ways. If you are not here to train, then we are done. What can you teach me? I'm about to. I'm. I'm preparing to face a very powerful foe. He says, uh, I can impart something to you, but even to get further into the complex, you must pass the same test that I would have of you. I'm going to look at the others and see what they would say. <laughs> I'm just going to shrug and say, I understand. There's We're going to be... Next door, you were their leader, so I just... Yeah, There's another instruction in there. But, um, what, is the, what is the test you require of us? Return to the central chamber if you wish to partake in it. If not, then merely convey so. Uh, uh, I'll take the whole front of the central chamber. Okay. To the galaxy map. Okay. What do you want to do? Uh, leader, there, is, there are words on that. Uh, okay. <clears throat> Is there a receptacle for the whole uh, it, it just says, here lies the first of the grey. Oh, okay. Or, 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 or loosely translated, the first of the dual sides. Okay. Oh. okay. Is um, there a receptacle for the holocron in the central yes, chamber? Yes, there is, yes. 
I will place the holocron into the receptacle. Okay. As soon as you do so, um, energy starts radiating uh, red from here and red from here. Uh, red, that would be yep, red from here. And whoops, blue from here. And everyone can see it. And it, it, it's like just flowing in that direction, then disappearing into the hollow ground. Yeah. Okay. Just like that. Uh, a visage appears. Uh, it appears to be a physical man. Physical manifestation of a Sith. Okay. And um, it appears here. And it is, it looks like this person. Ah. Ah, oh, well fucking done. <laughs> and, uh,. He basically says, uh, I am Darth Thanaton, given honor and burial in this place. The first of Darth Imperius's great adversaries. You will face me, and you will die. And, like, un unhooks his lightsaber. And it I'll do the up. same with mine. Mm -hmm. Cool. Okay. Awesome. <laughs> uh, well, I will attempt to initiate a seize over the Clarus Ghost. Okay. Sounds good. Go for it. And I will. I, I you said it's a three plus now, so I guess I succeed. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to come at him in the Jarkai form. Mm -hmm. Ah. So now I get with it, since I get an extra attack, and it's a minus fifteen buff to attacking, mm -hmm. minus fifteen to defending. Mm -hmm. So yeah. So each of these will be at minus fifteen. Okay. Okay, they all hit pretty much. Yeah, they all uh, they all pass in that one crit. The one hundred. Uh, oh dear. Um, oh dear. So one crit, so you get a full attack round. Five D one hundred, and does that. So one crit, three hits. Can I try to fight? Uh, do I try? Do I? Do attacks back. Yeah, yeah, them, yeah but you don't you don't yeah. get a full attack round if you get a crit. It's just a normal crit. Yeah. Okay. Or so I get my full changing crit. I get my full number of attacks. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. So uh, do your saves against his attacks, and then I'll do his saves against yours. Okay. Um, how many attacks of his attacks can went through? Uh, three and one crit. Okay. Uh, so you will do my speed. Mm -hmm. So this is for the three hits. Mm -hmm. Two saved. Mm -hmm. uh, one six for my life ward. That's fine. Mm -hmm. And uh, for the crit, speed does not work. Mm -hmm. And life ward does not work. Shit. Okay. Um, so you would be unconscious, but uh, I still need to save all of my attacks. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Um, thirteen, D six. That's a okay. lot of blow, bro. So, so, so he's he's down immediately, and he goes. He just goes, oh, OP, OP, GG, OP. <laughs> and like, <laughs> and, uh, just like he did in the game. Um, okay. We're back in the room. Uh, the energy from his pedestal fades away. Uh, do you guys want to heal or do anything whilst you're here? Am I. Did his attack still go through and knock me out? Yeah. So. Uh... You guys wanna maybe 
Are you, are you un unconscious right now? Yeah, he is. He is, right, yeah. Well, I revive him then, yeah. Uh, I don't know. Well, really <laughs> not. <laughs> I, I'll, I'll let you do it for the sake of uh, carrying on. <laughs> right, and then I'll force heal myself. And mm -hmm. thank, and thank uh, Sedanus. Yeah. Oh, what's oh, the crit? <laughs> oh, no. The crit. This is the worst crit. Oh, oh no, no, I, no, I noticed about everyone standing as well. It's, it's... Yes. Uh, well, okay. we just need to pack some sandwiches, so she's tucking into Um, <laughs> What is the roll on the chart? Uh, um, it's d12, isn't it? D12 or d10? I, I don't know. Oh, no, it's, I, it's, no that's the new one. Um, D6s. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm getting to it first before I do my roll. Okay. The new one's d12. Oh, we're good. That's good. Uh -huh. Well, my attacks is current, if only we were in combat. Alright. Oh, <laughs> you will be in a second. Um, right, <clears throat> so the next piece of energy comes through from this direction. Okay. And I'm going to have my lightsaber ready when this one appears. Mm -hmm. And it's a rather large figure, appears. Oh. Oh, oh. I'm gonna kind of just look up at it, and then like look back at the others, like what? <laughs> and I will show you the large figure. Wow! Oh, fuck! Wow. And uh, I would just say, yeah, he's basically just like behind the respirator, but he takes it off in the end, and uh. He the face he says, uh, I am Darth Malgus. And he just uh, points his finger at you all and says, uh, And you are intruding here. And I come straight for you. Initiative CC. You know you guys could help, right? <laughs> yeah, we're <laughs> really good. Yeah, you guys are lightsabers that can reflect our shots. That's a great idea. Do you remember what happened to Matt? All right, initiative CC. Yeah. yeah. Mm hmm. <laughs> Alright, 90, 100. <laughs> I'm just going to warn you, this guy gets 12 attacks. Oh, Jesus. Like, so... Just... You know, you can take all right, that back uh, if you want. I don't mind. Oh, well, I mean, there's not much else I can do. I'm not very powerful. I don't have any, like, really attacking force moves. I mean, if, if I was you, I, I'd have kited, you know, with your other characters, and, like, got him down and then gone in for the kill. Well, this, this what happens so, here. hold on, Quinn, you get nine attacks? Nine. Because I have my form, when I actually use my form, it gives me minus 15 to my attacks, mm -hmm. but, and uh, mine plus 15 to defending, but okay. uh, with my lightsabers, they, since they both have blue crystals, I get, uh, actually I get minus five. So I got Total. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten successes with two crits in there. I, just curious, I, I thought you had eight attacks, like four from each lightsaber. Yeah, and one more from my form. Oh, you get an extra one from your form, okay. Okay, so you did eight hits and two crits. What did you get? You got two crits. Mm hmm. I only see one. Oh, shit, yeah. Eight hits and one crit, sorry. I got. I'm gonna reroll my two uh, fails. Uh, so 2d100. And that gave me uh, 8 hits and 1 crit. Mm -hmm. Cool. So you can't swipe? I'm, I will roll my 8d6 twos. Uh, 1 goes through. And they crit. Twos. Fine. So he takes uh, 1 hit. And what was what the damage on your lightsaber? Uh, the, uh, mine is 55 and Lorais' is 68. If it, it depends on, oh no, it's from the first hit, so it'd be mine. It's a main okay. wielding mine. 55, okay. Yeah, so he takes a glancing hit with the lightsaber. 
Uh, so you want to do your saves now? Your eight hits and one crit against you? Well, that was his defensive roll, not his attack. Ah, uh, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Of course. Sorry, yeah. So, but he does get a combat round because he did the one crit, didn't he? So roll 12 of the 100. Um, that is a miss. Uh, a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Uh, 10 hits. 11 hits with 2 crits in there. It's at full total, so... And uh, eight hit no, nine hits. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um. All right. Uh, I'm gonna re-roll the ninety-five. Mm-hmm. Okay, so that's uh three crits and uh six hits. So nine. You get a full combat round, obviously. Yep. But nine. Um, so I get two attacks going through. So you need two attacks. Both crits are gone. So you need uh, just two two normal. Well, it goes straight through your save. So it'd be. Yeah. Oh, I can just do my dodge save and my yeah. uh, other save. So two d six for dodge. One save. Uh, and uh, one for uh, board, and that does not work. Okay. Still get my combat round, right? Yes. But you're now unconscious. That's the combat. Alright. Um, that's two crits and uh, six hits. Uh, and and choose. One goes through. Roll. How many hits? Um, sorry, six hits and two crits. Six, twos. All saved. Um, so yeah, he, he he staggered back by your thing, but he does knock you out. But well, both backhand. my crits are on my other lightsaber, so that would be, uh, let's see, sixty two hundred and four damage. No, 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 no. He saved one crit. He has two plus. Light yeah, because I I did two crits. Uh, so one of the crits went through. Yes, one of the crits went through. Yeah. Which is two hundred damage. Which is uh. Is it? From 60... What was it? 60... It's times 3 crit. Ah, uh, okay. Right. He's still off, but yeah. Okay. That's good. That's good. So, uh, so Janice and Lita, you gonna, you gonna do anything? <laughs> These sandwiches are really tasty. Yeah. Really okay, well, he's gonna come kill you guys now, so have fun with that. It's, it's a tough choice. Sez, do you wanna, do you wanna go first? Because you're first anyway, so... Yeah. He's, he's, just gonna come, he's just gonna come murder you two, so have fun with that. <laughs> I mean, I only did two hundred. I only like, did two hundred and sixty damage like, to him. Like Quint, you've never felt strength like that. Let me just say that. Like he literally, nearly pounded your spine out of your ass when he was down <laughs> swinging with his lightsaber. Yeah. Like, he literally, like, like I, I'm gonna say, the concussive shock of his blows knocked you out rather than actually hitting you. Like you just okay. like you know. Okay. Um. Because I love Darth Malgus. He's fucking amazing. That's awesome. <laughs> Um, um, can you describe this apparition a bit more? Is he just projected, or is he an actual physical being? He, he's an actual physical being, but but from what you saw of the other apparition, once it was defeated, it just dissipated and went back to the box. But there's no sort of, you know, when you were drawing them, light beams, there's no beam yeah. going to him or anything, is there? Yeah, there is, yeah, yeah, the entire beam's going to him, yeah. Right, because if Sejanus was to shut off that door or whatever and stop the beam, um, it would go through the door. I'm, I'm guessing. Like it was not that simple. Yeah, like, I'm pretty sure at some point, off I, at some point, I would have stood in front between him and the beam. Yeah. So yeah, no, it doesn't make any difference. Oh, right, okay. Good thinking though. You can probably go to the source of the beam and see what you wanted to do, and I guess. But... Assuming he doesn't straight up murder you for doing. Yeah, I don't think mm -hmm. I'll really get that far. Um, I'll distract him. It's fine. <laughs> With your sandwiches. With my sandwiches. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I'll just do my four shots, I guess. Um, okay. Uh, wait a second. No I'm respect. Going to... No respect. What was the deal with bullet time again? I do it uh, it's at the end the rules. of the combat. Right, okay. After you do all your attacks. Yeah. Um, so, first shot. Hit. 
Mm-hmm. Hit. Hit. Um, what is it with this guy? Go on, Sage. MVP Okay, so I roll 66 twos. They do have instant death on them, so. Okay. Yeah, so well, yeah, but the. Oh, gotta, yeah, you have to. Put, yeah, yeah you've got to. One, you've got to declare it. Yeah, I know. And two. It uh, takes uh, your whole turn. So yeah, he 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 takes one of those. What what does it do? The thing. Oh, that's a good question. Uh, Twenty-five damage and three. Okay, twenty-five. So that's fine. He takes another twenty-five. Who's next? I want to do bullet time first as well. Yeah, okay. Uh, so yeah, just roll the d6 straight off. Mm-hmm. Analogous murders us all for you guys to help. <laughs> no, well, yeah, that passes anyway. I'm putting one more. No, uh, no. Uh, I'll re-roll that. Uh, Eight. Hey. Oh, never mind. Two d six, twos. It's fine. Yeah, that's me. <clears throat> okay. Leader will kneel down where she is and uh, look down the scope of her, her sniper rifle and aim it for his, uh, his left leg mm -hmm. and do an instant death drop. Which will not kill him, but it will be like a double crit against him. So, so and there we are. Uh, that is many crits. Many crits. That is a lot of crits. So, so, holy shit. Okay. So, um... Or, so double crit, so six times. Uh, no, no, I, need to just, I just need to know how many times you hit and how many times you crit. That's it. Oh, well, no, it's just like if it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. He was using uh, instant death. Oh, yeah, instant, death. instant death. Oh, well, yeah. then it's just, it's just as it is. Okay. So, yeah, so it's double. So it's a double crit, so it's, it's 96. 192 damage from that. Shot. Okay, that, that takes him down. He doesn't save it. If he doesn't save it. Oh yeah, yeah. If he doesn't save it, so he's got to save. Um, it's still too up. Yeah. No, 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 no. That doesn't work in some death. He's just gone. That's he, he, yeah, oh, he okay. didn't do it. So, yeah, he his apparition goes back to the box. By six, by vitality points. Oh, you beat him by close. He's probably the tankiest person you're gonna face. To be honest. Um, See, you guys could have helped me from the beginning, and then I would have taken him down when I actually hit him. You're in the fucking way. Dude, on, you ran in there yourself, and I told you not to do that. I, I, I said, <laughs> and run away. I did pretty good, though. Yeah, you did do pretty good. You did do pretty good. You did do pretty good. Yeah. Are you guys going to wake me up? Yeah, it's my last uh, trauma kit, so that was good news. But, um, <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah, well, you're back oh, well. Yeah. Crit. Right. What does that do? Does that mean full I get health. to keep the trauma kit? You get to keep the trauma kit and use that full health. Okay. The next well. apparition. Oh, fuck. I, the I'm, gonna, I'm gonna say thanks, guys. Yeah, that one was uh, that one was something else. <coughs> this is a Tuesday for me, Quinn. Don't worry. It's fine. <laughs> don't, don't you try to be bison. <laughs> don't you try to be bison. Uh, the next nice. apparition, the first Whoa. emperor, as he's as he was called. Well, wow. that's some shiny armor. You can see, you can tell who's played the old Rob Blick when Sunny goes, ah. Oh, <laughs> 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 <Right away. laughs> okay, I'm gonna need my force powers for this one. Oh no! Oh, could he? Yeah. Oh no! Yes. Oh no! Guys, guys, we're gonna die. All right, seize initiative. <laughs> Everyone, seize initiative. <laughs> yeah. If you have it. Oh, you have you have quick shot. If you're gonna remember. Yeah. Don't you? I have um, quick shot. Something. I would I would like to remind you of this, yeah, Dean, that I have the skill uncanny luck. So just just so you know. Why not? And I seize initiative. What what does uncanny luck do? I, it doesn't say anything. It just says I I have uncanny luck. So it's at your discretion <laughs> as to what that means. <laughs> okay. Thank you for reminding me what that is. What that is. Well, it's <laughs> literally what it says in this. Like a lot of the skills in the Star Wars one don't actually have descriptions. Yeah. Mm. It was before you started putting proper descriptions on them. Yeah. Okay. So, 
Um, Quint, you... Yeah, do your thing. Well, uh, 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 Sejanus' shot will go before mine. Yeah, it's just right a at the start. Quick draw shot. Oh, so oh you want more. help now? You want help now, Quint? I wanted help from the beginning. Mm. <laughs> Actually, he takes the damage from that. I wanted help at the beginning, but you guys just kind of sat there while I attacked. Twenty-five. MVP set. You can do it. Just right, right. One shot kill. Yeah. yeah. The, the comeback. The comeback. <laughs> the comeback He's just dead from the one for the twenty-five damage, right? No. Does he have a lightsaber out? No. <laughs> Vichia doesn't need a lightsaber. <laughs> well, I mean, at least this lets me get um, my, my nine attacks without him blocking them. Okay. So, mm. Does it? Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, does it? And that is nine hits. Mm-hmm. I'm guessing five at my normal damage, which is 55. And then four at 68. So I don't want to... I'm gonna get calculator out. Nine D six, and we're going to do twos. Uh, so we take two, and those are both at the end. So those are both the big hits. So mm -hmm. that's a uh, hundred and thirty-six damage. Okay, dokie. He just staggers backwards and smiles, uh, and I get nervous. I get very nervous. <laughs> People shouldn't smile while I'm I'm stabbing them with lightsabers. Do you remember that, just as a case of law, do you remember that ritual I told you about with the armor? Uh-huh. This is the guy who did that. Oh. Oh. Yeah, and he did it like three times as well. Hey. To make himself pretty much immortal until like, until an Imperius killed him. <laughs> um. uh, leader, do you want to go before me or what? Um, no. You're first. Um, so, I want to do instant death as well. Um, so yeah. One crit. Oh, two. The hundreds of This is a fucking long conversation that Drox is having with uh, Imperius, isn't it? Like, you know, just, just thinking. Um, yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, I may have created these guys a bit too powerful, but they are... And these are just like visages as well, these aren't the actual people, do you know what I mean? They've got a lot of the power, but not all of it. Yeah. Yeah. No, we gathered as much. Hmm. So the, he got a crit on instant death. There. Okay. Um, yes, that's whatever damage it is. The double double crit. Yeah, hundred. One hundred damage. 100 that's damage. nice. That's that's, that's yep. really so, nice. So, so he staggers back again, and his smile falters a little bit, but remains on his hands. <laughs> I'm gonna um, try and um, use some suppressive fire and see if I can keep him a little bit occupied. It's not gonna work, but we'll, we'll or he murders us all. You know, um, that, that would be nice. Uh, two crits like roll ninety. So, oh, I'm ninety three. Um, so that is uh, two crits and six hits. Uh, An three. So feel free to take an answer. Not getting murdered is, you know, definitely part of my game plan. So six hits. Oh, two and six. Not there. Six and two. Uh, so he takes one. Okay, that's, that's uh, 19 damage, and then two crits. Two crits. Six, needing fours. Uh, takes one. Uh, 38 damage. Okay. So, 57 in total. Alright. He is going to, like, walk forwards. He's been gathering force energy all of this time. He's going to roll a force check. Uh, he's going to pass it, and he's going to cast... Uh, Force Maelstrom on the... Oh, uh, we're all dead, guys. Hey! I know that one. <laughs> hey! Yes, we're all dead. Game over. Uh, Game over, man. <laughs> and, uh... Actually envelopes him as well, because he's just so full of hate that he's just gonna just, you know, rail everything in the room. Um... So... Everyone needs to take a... Uh... Two saves. Two saves. And this is AN1, so it'll be your your life board saves. I can do two saves, you said? Yeah. I, I'm gonna try to. Can I try to dodge this at all? No. <laughs> <laughs> You're in an enclosed room with. You can't dodge the air. <laughs> I can try. <laughs> with dedication. All right, well, let's go right, down uh, as well. Nope. Oh, wow. God damn it. 
We're all out. Party. We're there all we go. We're done. I'm, okay. I'm stabilized. But you are yeah. you are stabilized. Okay. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm stable. Who's gonna revive gonna, us all? Yeah, do, yeah, but the only thing is you guys are all down, but he's yeah. gone. Because he did he did it in the room on his on himself as well. So he's gone. Wow. He is <laughs> he has disappeared. And so you're gonna be there for a while and th 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 this is gonna play into the hands of the uh of the bad guys because uh we're all unconscious. Yeah, you're unconscious for a long time. So it gives Drox and Varus and you know a, m a lot more time to get in there. But we're going to speed forward to where you all kind of wake up a bit after that, battered and bruised. Emphasis on the on the battered. Mm. Uh -huh. and the I don't know how how much how much does uh, force leave in terms of bruising. Uh, I don't know. A lot. Lots, yeah, I suppose. So. Mm. Uh, last visage appears as you all are on one HP. Unless you oh, want to heal. Uh, yeah, I'm going to try to heal. Unless you... Uh, do I... Uh, yeah. That's fine? Oh, that's just fine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> fine. And we all heal... Uh, how much was it? 25, you said, don't you? 25, yeah. Do I have time to do another one, or is it just that? Yeah, you have time to do another one. I'll try to do another one. And we're, oh, and we're up. We're up 50 health, so I assume we're all... Yes. Yep, you're all up. And the last visage, which comes through. Da -ba -da -ba -da. Da -ba -da -ba -da. Oh, thanks, guys. <laughs> <laughs> it's been fun. It's been fun. <laughs> Who's that? Yeah. Oh, right, yeah, you can't see, can you? Oh, yeah, yeah, you can. Yeah, you can. You should I can. You don't know who that is? Man. I haven't played the Old Republic. Shake, yeah, shake, dude. shake's head in disgust. Have you not even seen the trailers for the Old Republic? No. Mm, I might have, but I don't know. Uh, he's, 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 Revan's from Knight, Knight of the Old Republic rather than the Old Republic. But he's, he's still in oh, right. the Old Republic. Oh, Revan's uh, yeah, okay. But his character in the Old Republic is like, so fucking weird and stupid. Um, it's like, I have two personalities now. And they're two completely different people, in two completely different bodies. Like, uh, okay, <laughs> just whatever. Um, but yeah, this is uh, Darth Revan, mm. as he was after the Mandalorian Wars. Mm. He doesn't say anything. He just switches on his lightsaber. Okay, and my lightsabers are up. Okay. Um, he's going to do initiative sees. Oh, I'm going to have to try to initiative sees better. Oh. Ah. Um, Reinitiative Z. <laughs> yeah. She's going to roll 18d100. Okay. So he comes towards you. Um, it'll be Quint. Did you oh. run forward to try an initiative Z's? Oh. Uh, one... can, 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 I, can I go back the other way <laughs> and go oh, hide six. behind? Uh... <laughs> no. Seven. So Jonas. Yeah. Can I dodge the air? Eight, nine, ten hits. Ten hits. And one, two, three, four, uh, five, one. No. Well, I see two, four crits. Three, four. Four crits. You missed four. One, two, three. Yeah, missed four. What a new. Alright, guys. It was uh, fun knowing you. <laughs> what what are you trying to establish is, is Quint dead or super dead? <laughs> <laughs> He's super uh, dead. He's super, super dead. dead. Super, 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 dead. super dead. Can I re I'm going to re roll that 99. If I. Um, my last. I, I, I would let you. Ugh. I would let you end the fight now if you kept the 99. But there will be consequences. Uh, you won't die. But there will be consequences. Um. Uh. Let's flip a coin, shall we? Oh my god! I have no idea what I have no idea what to do with this. So I'm gonna flip a coin. All right. Uh. On a one, we end the fight. On a two, I reroll the ninety-nine. Mm-hmm. I reroll the ninety-nine. Okay. Eight has spoken. 
You uh, so wish you'd have got a one there, I don't know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So that's, um... Uh, yeah. So that's, uh, two crits and, uh, seven, hi- uh, seven hits to block out some of his attack. Mm-hmm. And two crits? Yeah. yeah. Two crits and seven. So you get so full you combat three. round. So take that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Alright, so full combat round. Four crits and you might get him down. One, two, three. Three. Whoa. <laughs> three. Oh. 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 Nice. Six. I that was my last re-roll for the session. I got five. Ah, oh, damn. Alright, so how many saves am I taking from the first batch? That's good to know. That's good to um, know. See. <laughs> I blocked <laughs> seven hits <laughs> and uh, two of his crits, so I have to save Three hits and two crits. And two crits. I have right? to save. Yeah. Oh, 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 um, you, oh. you. You have to save as many as you from that last attack. So one, two, three, four normal hits, five normal hits, five, and six. Oh, there are three crits on that. I didn't even notice that. These, one goes through. And roll one, two, three. 3d6, looking for threes. And two oh. three. So, so yeah, he takes a few pounding hits there, but like, royals back and, you know. One on each of my lightsabers for the crits. So that's, yeah. um, hold on, let me get my, 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 me up. Um, see, so, like, the one crit does 204, and the other crit yeah. does 165. Okay. Cool. And then the regular hit would have been off the first hit, so that's another... 55. Okay. Alright. So, um, so now I've got to save three normal hits. Mm-hmm. 86 to dodge. Oh, that saves two. Oh, life ward. Fails. So, I'm probably unconscious just from the hits, let alone the crits. Yeah. So, so you, I'm not going to make you... If you're unconscious, then I won't make you do any more. Um... So yeah, because you have, as you fall, like his lightsaber just goes over you, and he's like, "Oh, okay." So he just dives onto the rest. I'm going to give him a full combat turn though, because he didn't get to do the rest of his damage to you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, I did 400 damage to him, guys. So in fact, I'm just going to harvest 90, 100. So miss. Uh, one hit, two hit, three hit. So three hits. Four crits. And four crits. Godspeed, guys. Godspeed. Uh huh. <laughs> Where I are you on, on, on health? See. Are you like, um, how long do we have until you're dead, dead? Uh, it depends on how much damage this lightsaber does. I have 42 health. Right. And so, how many hits did you let go through? I got hit by one regular hit. Um, you are on minus 13. Okay. So you are one oh, away, see. two away, two turns away from death. Okay. Have fun, guys. Get the piece edge. I want to do. Well, well the other guy, t- like the um, the big guy, didn't t- only took probably about five hundred da- like six hundred damage. Yeah. And he was the tankiest one, so he's taking four hundred. So it shouldn't be too long before he's dead. No. No. So just don't fuck it up. He is also he, he, all round. He's the most powerful one you have faced. So. 18 fucking attacks, yeah. <laughs> That's my quick draw one. No, I should have done mm-hmm. ages ago, but it doesn't matter to any anyway. Um, I'm just going to do my fucking four shots. Okay. See you, Grit. Oh. So 46 threes, two hits, uh, one more three for the and eight passes for the crit. Okay. So two normal hits go through. And then I'll do my bullet time. Mm-hmm. Five. Oh, nice. Might One. go down here. MVP. No. Nope. MVP. MVP. Yeah. No. no. Oh, okay. just so. I fail three of these. Of these four. And... He's down. I failed one. 
<laughs> yeah, of course. Well, of course. Yeah. It's now MVP leaders. Did you guys? Did you guys? He did attack you. Did you guys respond to that attack? Oh no, I didn't. <laughs> he, no, like, no. He, was, he was like, "Yeah, I'll just carry on my turn and see if you." Just ignore that. Yeah, yeah. 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 We're just gonna yeah. pretend that didn't happen. Um, <laughs> Revan's extremely confused at the moment behind the mask. He's like, what? what, what? <laughs> so who did no, no, you know, you're meant to just carry on and not care and react to what I'm doing. And that's the Genesis style, though. Yeah. I can, I can just picture him, like, poking someone with his lightsaber, like, come on. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Three hits and four crits. So two crits oh. each. And I'll ro I'll roll for the or the, for the spare hit. So, uh, uh, one for Janus and two for Leader. Leader. So Leader gets two hits and two crits, and okay. Janus gets one hit and two crits. Says so you want to deal first. Okay. Deal first. Wow. Oh, yeah. that, that's the hit. It's fine. That's the hit. Don't worry. It's all good. Okay. You're still unconscious. Hit. Yeah. Still oh, that's, a pass. that's a pass. That's a pass. That's a pass. Fucking OP armor. Yeah. That's a pass? Two up oh, life save yeah. yeah. Oh my god. I didn't bother taking anything like that. Amazing, isn't it? Okay. You've got the Next. same armor. You've got shadow. But wait, what, we what's the, the armor negate of a lightsaber? One, right? Mm hmm. Yeah. I'm pretty sure okay. Lita's got shadow cop for you as well. No, I've got death not here. I, I thought, like, two up life ward and two up save was just, like, not okay with my character. So. Um. Oh, that's hit. fine. Yeah, they're fine. Oh, um, right. we're, we're not okay, and we but yeah, that's two crits. So, uh, <laughs> oh, I am stabilized on knockdown. Um, you are stabilized. You're knocked down. unless I'm dead. So, which is fair enough if I'm. Um, How much I'm damage? gonna. I'm gonna. Did I get? I'm gonna say you're not for now because normally that would have killed you. But uh, well, I want to have a reroll. So. I want to. You, you can have reroll. Yeah, oh, you, yeah, you, you haven't. You haven't had any of your rerolls yet. You yeah, guys have uh, lots of rerolls left. I've used up all five of them. Okay, that's oh, there you go. You're up. I'll, I'll, I'll do another one. Why not? Oh yeah, okay, yeah. fine. Yeah, yeah, you're fine. Good, yeah. The good. Um, Thanks, do you want your full attack round? Um, I will do uh, four shots and then reload because I have to reload. Um, so two crits and two hits. Ooh, okay, I think you might go down. So I'm, I'm going to do the first two. I'm going to do 46. The first two are the are saving the crits, and the second two are saving the hits. Uh -huh. he's, he's fine. Fair enough. Um, <laughs> this is, uh, his, his attacks? His, his attacks, yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess I should do that, shouldn't I? So, Probably. No, no, he cannot attack. I'm okay with that. How much um, damage should I take from he's that just, one? He's just chilling, man. He doesn't need to attack. Uh, you're, you're at minus 8. You're at minus 8. Me? I'm on minus eight. Yeah, because you're down, aren't you? I don't know how much damage. I, I've got 50, 51 health. 51 health, so you did 59 damage. So you're on minus nine. Minus eight, because you got 51. Okay, yeah. Right. Yeah, minus eight. Okay. Um, good. Okay. Uh, right. It's all good. Uh, okay. I can do this. Right. So. Only one crit. Only one crit. Uh, one, two, three. Past it. <laughs> oh, that's the end of that. Oh, no. Uh, no, there's two crit. There's two crit. There's two crit. Okay. okay. I passed that one. Okay. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen normal hits. <laughs> God. Yeah. Good luck, guys. I'm rooting for you. What is this to happen after this? Aren't you, aren't you uh, back fail... to like one turn now, Quint? Before you die? Yeah, I have five. Yeah. You fail five. Okay, uh, do you have any more rerolls? Um, I wish I. You yes, guys I have, have a bunch exactly of rerolls. I, I, I have exactly five rerolls. Really 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 you you're, 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 okay. You're feeling the love of Sejanus that he has for Lida. <laughs> like he's just oh, like, yeah. like like he's just like no. This is gonna get weirdly sexual Love again. The isn't it? titties. Yeah. And like uh, you know, he just holds out his hand and and that's gonna give you all of the re rolls that he can give you, i.e. two, yeah. which will keep you up. And uh, 
and uh, it wouldn't normally keep you up, but but to, but to get the game going, uh, it will keep you up. Pass them both. Okay, so you're still up. <clears throat> I feel your love. I feel your love. How deep is your love? Is your love? Mm -hmm. uh, kind of. It's pretty deep uh, in there at this point. Breast, uh, yeah. in, the bre in the breast area, kind of thing. Yeah, it's good. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. I, 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 I think I, I think leader's turning a little bit hetero. A little bit. Well, you never know. You never know. There's time to change. Um, I feel like I might shoot him. Um, I mean, I don't want to. Yeah. Not much push. else to do. I feel like I feel like it's a good idea. So all right, let's do that. Um, yeah, why not? Two... You know, shoot the guy who's just murdering mm. all of us. Sounds good. Um, two, two crits and six hits. All right. 2d6 and how many normal hits? 6 6d6 threes. He's down. He's down. Oh, thank uh, god. Do we get like 6 levels? <laughs> uh, we don't <laughs> die. That's the rule. We don't die. We don't die. Maybe we don't it die. Works for me. Works for me. Um, I'm going to I'm going to go and help Sajams first. Okay. Um, so I don't blame you. That's that's a pass. On intel oh, is it a pass? No, it's not. It's, it, I need a three, but it's fine. <clears throat> That's fine. That's close enough. That's close okay. enough for this stage. Yeah. Thank okay, you, Leah. Okay. So, Jonas, you're back with us. I yes. felt I felt a weird I felt a weird sensation back there. I don't know what that was, but <laughs> got me through. You got me through. Any anything I can do, I'll do to help you somehow. I, I guess in that, that moment, Janice has suddenly become a bit aware of the boss or something. Did that to happen? <coughs> yeah. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Um. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll trauma kit. Um. Oh um, me? That's really nice. That's the, really nice. The, the visage of Darth Imperius from the uh, the tablet says, "You've done well. You may advance. Walk to the right, and take this holocron with you when you leave." Okay. I'll pick the fog one up right, and just right. walk off. Back in. See you later. You really want to fight Drox without me? <laughs> no, I'm just... I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Um, so Janus? Yeah? Or... Intelligent of the two of us. Would you try and help Quinn? Yeah, that's what I did. I got a 96. Oh, right, okay. You can do another oh, one. 96. You can do another Thanks. one. You are going to be there for a little while. You know. Hey. Oh, Sajams, you can do it. That's a cool hey. And he's at full health. Yeah. And you still get, hey. the, you get the trauma pack back. So. Hey, and bro. Do you guys hurt? Yeah. Um, you could say that. Alright, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to heal us again. I was like kind of shaking my head like, oh god, wow. Okay, you, you, you come to a mirror and it looks like it's got water in it. Oh, no. Um... <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Leader will throw the uh, the rank. Okay, you're good. The, you guys get healed critically. In in her pocket, through it. Good stuff. Oh, yeah. we're good. Hey, come on. We're, we're full health. Yeah, you're full health. Yeah. Okay, so, so what are you going to do, Leader? Um, I was going to throw the rank or tooth, my trophy from earlier on in the session, in the uh, campaign, okay. through the. Well, in, uh, at the like mirror thing that's in front okay, of us. Okay, cool. All oh, right, sorry. that's awesome. So, 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 Drox, you're standing over here with a Sith, and all of a sudden, out out of the portal at the back of the room, a, an object falls out, and um, w one of the Sith lords goes over as you're conversing and brings it back to you. And you see it's like a massive Rancor's tooth, and, and you just, what? How do you react? I'm just gonna chuckle to myself and say, "They're here." Alright, and at that, okay, and what do you guys want to do back in where you are? Um, I don't. Leader thinks to herself now that that doesn't really provide her with any assistance at all. It doesn't tell her anything. Um, <laughs> no. So. There's actually no point. You can't <laughs> There's no point. Walk back, can it? It's just, no, it's true. Darth Imperius said through. to go this Sorry. way. Okay. Um, so, yeah. I mean. Leader will. Um, will step forth first, just look back at the other two and say, ah, I think we're at the end of the road. And, right. uh, and step through. I'll walk through with the leader. So Janice has just completely 
stunned at why people are throwing things in mirrors and then stepping through them <laughs> randomly. But you know. well, yeah, Gosh, if he sees yeah, them two can... disappear, he'd probably just follow. But he's still completely can we go back through? Can we go back through the portal? Um, put yourselves <laughs> here, please. Can we go back through the portal? Probably I'm going to be honest, Sage. It wasn't, it wasn't my proudest moment. So. <laughs> that. That's not what that was supposed to be. Hold on. God damn it. That was supposed to be a circle. Oh, draw, draw. Ever seen. draw, 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 <laughs> oh, sorry, I appear to have found the wrong portal, sorry. <laughs> hey, this isn't where I parked my car. <laughs> who's, uh, who's this dickhead up here? Yeah, that would be drops. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, still so stands. Okay. Who's first then? Let's go. <clears throat> so, is what I talked about with... Um... Imperious? <laughs> yeah, Imperious, yeah. Uh, in effect, now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Label. Thanks. Um, yeah, yeah. He, he, he's given you the key to, uh, to uh, the, the coordinates to his amassed fortune. What about his lightsaber? Uh, his lightsaber is also in your possession. It is basically a... Um, well, it's actually in the bod rope. It's the uh, hilt. It's sort of got like an, an Excalibur hilt, mm -hmm. you know, and, uh, and it's a purple bladed lightsaber with the following stats. Uh, There's the one that um, as a sample one. Right? Yeah, yeah, mm. it's the sample lightsaber. Right. Basically, the most powerful lightsaber you can get, pretty much. Gotcha. But you're um, using your saber staff, right? Because you know, um, th yeah. Daddy gave it to you. Right. Yeah, that yeah, is it. Yeah. So it's damage 75 AN1, reach 12 feet, times 3 crit for uh, modifications you can use. And it's, you know, it's priceless, so it's NA for the price. And it has the instant death special war, and it has a purple crystal, the only one you're going to come yeah. across. Yeah. The only purple crystal you're going to come across. Eat a dick. <clears throat> what? <clears throat> <laughs> So I, I guess since no one else is speaking to me, I'm going to speak first. Okay. Um, We're kind of stunned. I'm going to step that. forward. Down. I'm just them. kind of looking at you. You so. step forward, like seventy-four. That was one motherfucking yeah. massive step. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. Well, well, okay, I. Fucking eighty. <laughs> I, I, I walk forward. To you. I okay. step forward eighty feet. <laughs> yes. I would actually, I would actually tall. walk up to meet. <clears throat> I would actually walk up to meet Drox. Um, um, so the, the, meet the like... Sith Lords are coming with you, Drox. Do you want them to stay where they are? Or do you want them to? Come with you? I'm just gonna hold my hand out. Stay where you are. Okay. The, I'm not going to fight you. These things are these benches are what? Arches. Uh, no, no, they're the stairs going up. In the oh, right, the stairs. I am not going to fight you guys. I refuse. And why are you here? I hold the key to Darth Imperius's fortune, and I plan to restore peace to the galaxy. You mean stand, stand, stand with me? Because I, I am not. I'm not going to follow him any longer. So what? Would you plan to... So what? You're going to destroy your father? And then what happens? I will, I will do what I must. Why should to we restore trust order you to now? the galaxy. Why should we trust I you now? Well, I understand why you wouldn't want to, but I'm telling you this. I will not fight you. You can cut me down if you need to. I'm. I won't fight you. How are the Sith reacting to this? They can't hear. 
Oh, I was going to say they're probably not very happy. No, they they they, <laughs> they unless well, if your words are carrying, then it's up to you well, how how loudly you, are you speaking. I'm just talking with them. Like I'm not like, oh my god, I'm not gonna follow them any longer. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. So so they can't really hear you. It's funny. Yeah. See, my father sent me down here to gather the sword of Darth Imperius, and he appeared to me, and he gave me the choice to, you know, kind of restore order the way I see fit. He has a hidden army, along with all sorts of credits to do what needs to be done. He doesn't agree with what my father's done, nor do I, for the most part. And that's and why, why I'm you follow him? <sighs> There's always been a conflict within me. I wanted power, and I wanted peace. I have the power now. Now I want the peace. And I don't see it being peaceful under my father. And you expect the whole galaxy to just bow to you? I don't want to rule the galaxy. I just want there to be peace. So John is saying, and what if, <laughs> what if your mind changes? What if you, you decide you want power again? Well, I have power now. But I'm gonna kind of try to feel with the force and see, like, if how much of this is the, I'm telling the truth. Um, all right. Um, I'm gonna ask out, out, of, out of game here, so pretend you're not hearing this. Um, Drox, are you telling the truth? Is that I am. Okay. So, are you gonna resist this or not? But you can let him do it. No. Okay. No. I'll so let him you in. don't need to roll. You can just do it. Win. Okay. <clears throat> I'm, I'm gonna like kind of move my hands. Like, I would have had my ha hands ready at my lightsabers, not drawn them. I'm gonna kind of move, like, let them fall to my sides. Okay, leader. You, you, your, your mercenary training, and Janus, you're somewhat too. You notice him do that, and so you relax. You know, you, you're noticing that. Obviously, the Jedi in the room has sensed something positive. So. Right. Okay. Um, I would like to pistol whip Bro Drox, please. To the floor, if possible. This is, this is really, really a great start. God. It's a good start. It's a good start. So I would, I would like to do that. If it's possible. Okay. Close combat. <laughs> this is gonna go well. No, no, <laughs> not, not even in the slightest. No. So she throws okay. a um, across. All, all, well. all of this, yeah. All of the, no. He just looks. All of the Sith lords ignite their lightsabers and beam walking forward. I'm just okay. gonna say, stand down. Okay, do a charisma with a minus forty. <laughs> That's not gonna be much better. <laughs> it doesn't need to be a good roll. You can even fail it. It doesn't need to be a good roll. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you were saying, Dean? Oh, no, let's just. Let me guess. That we're in combat now. <laughs> uh, Drox, what are you gonna do? You, you know you know? wanted this, Dean. Are you going to fight this guy, or are you going to...? I'm going to turn around and fight them off. I, I, I kind of assumed that Drox would do this, so I was going to just jump at the Sith. Mm -hmm. So initiative sees! Oh yeah, I should probably, I should okay. probably do that too, huh? Cool. Not seized. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. um, just a quick shot. Uh, Reroll! Oh wow! Reroll. Can I reroll initiative C's or no? No. Okay. Oh, come on. <laughs> okay. Just for the record, roll. I was I was trying to pistol whip Drox affectionately in a leader way. Um, you know what? I could have been doing this whole time. I have speed yeah. ten. I can reroll my my dodge saves. <laughs> One dead. Okay. Ooh, nice shot. So uh, uh, as he's yeah, running forward, Drox just like plants him between the eyes with his uh. With or Sejanus. Yeah, just Sejanus, sorry. Alright. Wow, nice. Alright, well, I'm gonna... I'm just gonna start na hacking into them. Guys, the I'm, I'm, I'm this black and red circle. Yes, I know. I'm going <laughs> at the ones that are next to Lita. 
Oh, thank you. It's very kind of you. Yes, you know, you... Because I wasn't conscious to see you abandon me in the circle room. <laughs> Alright, uh, 90, 100. That's one fail, two crits. Mm-hmm. One crit on each lights. Oh, no. So, yeah. seven hits. Uh, six hits. Six hits, two crits. Okay. Oops. Oh, dear. Okay. So, one dead and two dead. There we go. And two crits. They're fine. Uh, whose turn is it? I have initiative C, so now it's on normal initiative. It'll be theirs now. So they're probably going to go for Drox. <laughs> Drox hasn't actually done Fair enough. enough. Alright, so one, two, three, four, five hits, one crit. Okay. Question, um, why are they going for Drox, though? Because he hasn't actually done anything for them yet. He right. turned around with lightsaber, and, and I assume he's attacking them, isn't he? Oh, he hasn't gotten to attack yet. No, but he did try initiative seize, so he has run towards them with his lightsaber. Oh, yeah, this is true. Bellowing. So. <laughs> One, two, three... Ooh, two crits. Ooh, no. oh. you get, you get the and minus a 69. <laughs> oh, Three hey. crits. Three crits. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to uh, give you two drop, full combat rounds for that. And they're, they're, their attacks are completely negated. Do you get the 60, minus 60 from attacking them? While attacking them? Or I thought that was... Um, well, I th I, while defending? I thought that was while attacking. Oh, I, I just forgot to take it off. Yeah, it's, it's only with attacking. Okay. Yeah. But it doesn't matter, you got three points. <laughs> no, so. Two full combat One, rounds. And two, three, and four. Right. So there's the first four if you want to. Six, fours. <laughs> what are the yeah, chances? Yeah, yeah, you wait until I play Shadowrun. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. What? No, what? Four sixes. Get out of here with that. <laughs> you wait, yeah, you wait. Here. You wait until I play Minerva and Shadow Room. Just wait. Okay. Do we not play D6? See how long it goes on for. Okay. Another four. One. Oh, oh. Two. That's pretty good though. Yeah, four and three. And four. So four hits. Four hits. Forty six. Um Needed fours, so this guy is down. Okay. Okay. We, so we temporarily transplant the void. All right. So now we're going off of whose initiative is highest. Yep. yep. Okay. Uh, minus sixteen. But I've already gone this round. Mm -hmm. Yes. So minus, minus like twelve. So. Okay. So then it's my turn. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. So, um, what do I want to do? Let me see. I am going to do, um, shit. Instant death, I guess. Okay. Yes, it worked so well for me last time. <laughs> Need the one. Yeah. There you go. There's there you your go. one, yeah. two, three, three four. Yeah. <laughs> five. five. He, he, he is now in like five pieces on the floor. He's completely dead. Sushi. So now, so now you you get the bands back together. There you go. Um, so you guys can converse. Go for it. It's good to see that you come back to your senses, Brox. Yeah, I was I was swayed by the dark side, and I am still considered a Sith, but I'm not following under my father. I want to restore 
peace, and he's he just wants control. Well, maybe there's a third Sorry. way, and I'm gonna I'm uh, I'm actually gonna. Uh, is there a spot to put in uh, Imperius's holocron in here? Uh, yeah. I, I'm gonna say maybe there's a third way, and I'm gonna bring the holocron over to the thing. Okay. Wherever the thing is. I was gonna say. I mean, I saw him before. Can I just, you know, resummon him or something? Like, <laughs> uh, no, no, no. He, the, the, the holocron can literally just give you all the knowledge that you need, and like. Oh. Uh, okay. So I just got it's up here. It's where the thing was. And I'm gonna kind of gesture to Drox to follow. Because I, because I'm remembering, because I can feel the light and light and dark side from him. I mean, that's not right. True. <laughs> yeah. So Janus is. Uh, on striking drops his name one time, so he's on two strikes. <laughs> <laughs> and he's hollow, bad. You, you rejoin and uh, it gets reset now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to put the holocron in the thing. Mm-hmm. Is Lita and Sajanus not actually going to say anything? We're just, we're just having a nice chat while well, you so guys. Janice is very confused you know, when we walk through the freaking mirror and then find Drox on the other side. It's all very <laughs> weird. Drox is going to look back to them and say, if we make a, make it out of this alive, yeah. I am more than willing to take your money at Brzak. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Strike one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and so he <people's>... can. <laughs> You were doing so well. Just, yeah. just gonna shake my head. Just gonna. <laughs> All right. So, so what are you gonna do? I put the holocron. The... Yep, it, it's on, and and Pierce is there. Is that it? He's <laughs> just gonna. Well, I, 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 is, is he not gonna say anything when he appears? No, no, no. He he's waiting for you to indicate that you're ready to learn. And yeah, this is the first time Drox has seen this, so you're gonna. You have to be the one to I initiate say, it. I think, I, I was like, uh, we're ready. He says, what, what I have to teach is not to be learnt in an afternoon. It will take years of study. But I, uh, he, 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 he turns to the visage of Darth Imperius, and it's almost like they're communicating. He says, but I've been given leave to be taken with you out of this place. So, so that my teachings will not die here. And as as that as he says that, um, a figure appears at the bottom of the um, uh, uh, down here. Down. Yep. I wonder who that could possibly be. Oops. But he basically just walks up here, and it's a star virus. Daddy's here, and he's angry. <laughs> Daddy! Daddy! That was the, that was the most teenage American girl voice I've ever heard in my life. Love it. Daddy, please don't kill us. <laughs> he, he says, um... Please, no, please. He says, uh... uh Darth Venacon, I see you are here, and you have the lightsaber. What, what is the delay? <laughs> the delay is... I'm going to restore peace to the galaxy. He just he looks at you, looks at all of your friends, and looks at you, and he goes, "You would betray me." Well, I betrayed them, so this is kind of a thing I do, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I think Lita is, is taking. Way to make friends. Way to make friends. <laughs> no, uh, I'm gonna say I will take what you have taught me. But I will become better. I'm not going to follow in your footsteps, Father. He, he he just looks at you with a sad smile and says, shakes his head and says, "You already are." And like unhooks his lightsaber. I'm going to draw my lightsaber. As will I. Okay. Lita, 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 why are you standing next to him? <laughs> Lita, Lita, no. Because I haven't been able to move away from him yet. It's not allowed. It's not my he, turn. He walked up this whole way. You could have backed yeah, up. Yeah, during all that talking, we're not just sat there scratching our chins, are we? Right next to this, this, this one. I'm going to look at Quint. Are you ready? I'm going to nod. May the force be with you. And, and with you. I shoot. 
And I'm gonna try to seize it. Okay, he's he's gonna completely deny that and seize it himself. But... Uh, okay. <laughs> but we're all seizing it. No, that's just a quick draw shot. Um... Oh yeah, yeah. So John is just shot. Oh. Oh, look at that! No initiative for for. And for, you, and for, for you thought? Okay, go for it. You thought Revan was overpowered. You just fucking wait. So uh, I guess we're both seizing initiative. So let's both attack. Hey. All right. Uh, um, so you have a higher initiative than me. I do. Yeah. Okay. Well. I, I, you know, I have rolled a higher seat, uh, C's, but your initiative is 16, mine's 14. Alright. Oh, not two. Sorry, sorry. Didn't mean. Just one. Just one. Disregard. Disregard. There you go. One. Two. Three. And four. So, two crits, two hits. Six two. Roll two d six three. Is he not even attacking his lightsaber? Four. He's not even fending us off the lightsaber. He's just he's just fucking. So what? One, one crit he, goes through. Yeah, he's just letting it ding off at the moment. He's not switched it on. He just drawn it at the moment. Mm. Okay. Uh, so one goes through. Mm. Takes damage. Crit two. Two's so next. that's a big hit. Yep. Uh, I'm that? attacking with my with my nine attacks. Yeah, I'm not even using the uh, Imperius's lightsaber. Okay. I'm using my. Oh, look at that one. Yeah. And that eleven. How many hits? That's, uh, um, that's seven hits and two crits. So he's gonna seventy-six. Uh, okay, so he takes one, two from that. Okay, so let's add 55 and 68 damage, so that's 123 damage okay. from the hits. And that's what's the other ones? How many? Two crits, one's a one. Two Look at that sexy crits. one. Uh, both passed. Oh. <laughs> so much for your sexy right. one. So he goes now. So you'll go first in combat. Okay. Oh dear Jesus. Wow. Oh. Um, okay. I see a ninety-nine. Three. There is a ninety-nine five. there. So he has. So. Gone. I see five crits aside <laughs> of the 99. Five, six, 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 <laughs> two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen hits. Jesus. And one, two, three, four, five, six, six crits. He missed one, guys. He missed one. Yep. And he got uh, one ninety-nine. Um, he's basically going to stumble into the casket over here. So move your guys out the way. Fail. Fail. He's that, <laughs> he's, he's that pumped up in rage. He just like flung forward. So he only gets half of his attack turn next time. Okay. If you guys are still alive. If we sur if we survive this. All right. So I'm going to block nine of them, and I guess you're going to try to block four. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah. I guess. Don't fuck it up. <laughs> oh, I rolled a 99 too. So I blocked uh, four, five, six, seven normal hits. Mm -hmm. And I rolled a 99, so that's a crit. But mm -hmm. also a 99. So you, you get a full. You're just not going to get your attack round, I think. Okay. That's, that's when I'm going to do this. on defensive. Yeah. So do I still get uh, the block with the scrits though? Where's Dan gone? Where's Leah gone? I got a one. Oh, she's not here. I oh, got well. a one. Um, give me a second, I'm just gonna go ask him where he is. My 
god for the sexy one. <laughs> Back now. Okay. Yeah, sorry, I was there the whole time. I could hear you and everything. I just thought. Okay. Um, sorry. So, uh, drops you get a full attack round, Yay. and uh, any hits or crits with that natural one. Nice. Nice. Okay. Um, minus sixty. Okay, one at a time. Here we go. Are you using your lightsaber form? Yes. Yeah. One, two, three, and four. Yeah. Okay. Do your roll for your extra attacks. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Shit. Roll a six. Uh, it wasn't six. six. It's not. It's okay. So, one. What happens two. with the crit that I got? Is it just oh, that's instant death? Nothing. So it's going to be a double crit. Oh. So sweet. one, two, three. So three, three d six. Uh, two of them go through. Nice. Roll one d six would be nice and instant death. So it goes to. So we take um, what's the crit damage on it? Um, crit damage is times three, so one hundred and ten, one hundred and fifty, one hundred and sixty-five. So 165, 165. 660? 660 then. Okay, no. And the uh, double crit? Yeah, sorry, that's including the double crit. Oh, okay. So, so, so yeah, 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 you wail on him and he's not a happy bunny right now. Okay? Okay. Oh, Any chance he stops some of his extra attacks with that? <laughs> um, I, I'm going I'm to say yes. I'm going to say he, he does 11. So he goes down to... Um, six hits and three crits. And I blocked seven hits and crit. Yep, so two crits left. And he blocked he blocked one crit and three hits. Yep, so one crit left. Alright. Who's gonna take it? Let's see. Uh, who has more health? We... <laughs> <laughs> Do we get to choose? Uh, nope, <laughs> that would be... Drox. Okay. Oh! Uh... What's your speed? Um, I passed. I'm good. Yeah. Okay. So there you go. Well, yeah, I, I, that was a life ward, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. I'm yeah. <laughs> oh, I mean, both of my life wards are three, and then I have the reflex save, which is three. So, so who's next? So, in any case, that went. Uh, that would be Leedens Jonas, I think. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. MVP Sage. Is that next? Yeah, I did my quick draw shot. That was the three. That was right at the beginning. And then. Uh, and now I'll probably do... I'll probably just do it in death. Mm -hmm. And that's it. Nope. Nope. Mm -hmm. So we go. Need do out. four shots with my um, combat rifle that I still have out, and then reload. Mm -hmm. So, four hits. Mm -hmm. So, um, have some more saves. Ooh, two misses, so two. It's nice. a damage good. It's just 38 damage. 38, yep. Still um, 76 damage. No, I mean, that's both of them together. I, I'm just going to go up and say this This would have been a lot easier if he didn't have the armor, which would have been a possibility, but that's not what happened. So he's still up, still going. Um, okay. It'll be his turn now. He's going to do a. F he's going to vault over here. Is going to do a force check. Yep, he's going to do force choke on Quint. Can I try to resist with the force? Uh, you need to be a bloody good roll, but yeah. Well, let's I, find I, out I, didn't, I didn't hear what you said, Dean. Can you say it again? He basically is just force choking Quint. Oh, uh, okay. No, so so you are being force choked at the moment. I'm pretty sure he'll probably knock me out one moment of force choke. Um, maybe, maybe. Let's see. Uh. And there's nothing I can do. Force choke. It's um, uh, twenty damage. So no, oh, okay. uh, uh, but but his will yeah, his will be yeah, twenty damage. But it just keeps shot the fight whilst he's doing it, and he's just gonna wail with uh, uh, 
six attacks. He only got half his actions from him. Yep, and I'll be half again because he's doing that. So he, he gets one, two, three, four hits and two crits on Drox. Good luck with that. I see ooh, two, ooh. three, three oh, crits. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> so that's a full combat round. Three crits and a hit. And so, 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 so this, so this is, is pretty much the final duel between Skywalker, Luke Skywalker, and Darth Vader. And that, you know, well, I'm just hanging in the air. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Whereas uh, Jock's actually outclassing him as a swordsman at the moment. Not, not, not in the Force. So he wants to stay away from that. But as a swordsman, he's pressing him. So, um... Well, my force is 10, so I'm that, pretty good in the force. Yeah. Do one, two... Uh, two full combat rounds. Okay, so... One... Two... Three... Four... There's the first four. Uh... Pass, 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 pass. So just four normal hits. Those are his. Okay, and here's the other four. One, two, three, four. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Two passes and 98 and 100. <laughs> Six hits. Uh, he cancels those, and uh, the top ones, how many did you get? Three? Uh. If Four normal hits. Yeah, he cancels those as well. So he just cancels out all of your, all of okay. your attacks. Okay. So whose turn is it now? It would be Lita and. Oh no, you're above Lita and Sajana, so. So it's um, my turn. Um, you, you all get a call over the com, com link. Okay. And it's uh, General Onasi. Okay. Okay. I can't breathe. Not right. now. Not fucking now. <laughs> okay. Uh, maybe, um, maybe someone who's behind the pillar can answer it. Yeah. Um, yeah. No. No. He, 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 you can literally just accept it, and he will talk. So you guys want to accept? I mean, obviously, yes. Drox. You. you, you um. It, it, do you have earpieces that are inside your ear? He, Varus can't hear it. Yeah, uh, but, exactly. the, 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 but Rocks but, can't but, hear it either. But the, there's like a break in the combat as you guys are just circling each other. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is he still choking me while he's doing this? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and um, so uh, you hear Onasi, and you can just hear fire on his bridge and stuff like that. And he says, he says look, we we cannot win the battle up here. We can't get anywhere near the Stormheart. It's down there. It's up. It's down there somewhere." And, and, he, and he says, uh, I, I can triangulate its position if one of you can switch on your communication device and keep con in contact with me. I can bring my ship down onto the Stormheart while the rest of you get away. Do I not have the Stormheart with me? Uh, you installed it in this room. Oh, uh, okay. So basically this thing here, which is the, the you know, yeah, the lift thing. Oh, that's what it is. Okay. So I'll leave my comms on there. He 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 says, uh, which, whichever one of you is there needs to stay and keep the comms open. Uh, so someone's gonna die. I'll I'll leave mine open as well. He says, I'm afraid so, and unless, and it's a horrible decision you have to make. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. One of us has to die. Uh, cheers! In the middle of this <laughs> fight, fucking light turbo battle. I'm, I'm just joking, so I don't you, really have much. You chance. also have to. You also have to keep Varus there. Keep him there. Whoever stays behind, keep him there. Keep him fighting. Well, then I'll, I'll do it. Well, to be fair, you can't actually hear what's going on. No, you can't. No, yeah. Oh, oh, never mind. Well, oh, okay. Yeah, I, um, I mean we could shout this over to you, but I feel like that. Would be <laughs> hey, drugs! Do you want to die? Do you want to die for us? Yeah, let's do it. You know how we're good friends now. Yeah. 
Um, okay, so it, it, is it my turn? Or what's yeah, um, I turn? No, you got to come to a decision first, then we'll carry on. Okay. Well, if we Since kill like... Varus, then isn't he staying here? Is that not... Is that not knock him out. Knock him out and bail. Yeah. I mean... Preferably kill him, but, you know, whatever works. You can try. Okay. I think, uh, I think this is hint, hint, we are going to kill him. I'm choking, so... <laughs> you know. Okay. Oh, there we go, Quinn. Uh, he he, he doesn't anyway, seem so. to be slowing at all. Like, considering the damage you've dealt him, he does not seem to be slowing at all. Well, Quint's choking, so he can't do it. Drox doesn't have a communications device, so he can't do it. One second. Yeah, Dr Drox isn't even in your network, actually. Yeah, so... So Janus is our leader, and I don't feel like we're going to last very long one-on-one -on -one with him. I don't need... Not if... But we will if we do it together, Sir Janus. <laughs> we can hold him off together. Okay, we'll do this, so. <laughs> You know we can. Alright, yeah. Together we can take him. Together we can hold him here long enough for the others to get out. Are we happy with that? Yeah. Let's do that, okay. We're gonna stay okay. here together, then. Okay. No. Um. Right. The dynamic duo is. Varus. Continue. Va Varus loses his grip on Quint, who heard what went on. Okay. So Quint, you're now free. Combat is broken for a minute. So. Guys, make a run for it. Wait. We're gonna bombard this place. Are you sure that's what he's gonna do with the next guy? Yeah. David, are you there? No. No, I think I think he's taken a second. Oh, no. yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm back now. Okay. There he is. Oh. Uh, you're now back on the floor. Okay. I, I assume you heard what just happened, right? No, I missed the, uh, the last. Uh, the oh last no! Wait, one. that's even better. That's even better. That's even better. Quinn, <laughs> Drox, get out of here. There's no time. What? I'm not leaving you. But you Again. have to. There's no <laughs> other way. Okay. <laughs> Janice and I will hold him off. We can hold him here. It's the only way. Yep. Restore peace to the galaxy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we will hold the fort. But you do. <laughs> why? Why? <laughs> I don't even know how we're going to keep him here. He's we're going to sit on him. That's what we're going to do. This is amazing. You're just going to end up following drops out. I mean, probably, like, okay, at a game. Remember, he, he, he needs to protect the Stormheart from you guys. Uh, Stjanus, you go for the Stormheart. I'll okay. occupy him somehow. It's fine. I'll, uh... Yeah, I'm going over there. I, I don't know how, what, what threatening thing, I would just start whacking it with my dagger. Or my knife. Mm. Uh, uh, Drox, Drox, would, dagger. <laughs> Drox, <laughs> Drox would probably stay until, like, you know, whatever is supposed to happen actually happens. You mean the ship crashes into us? Yeah. I don't know that. But, so. uh, well, actually, if he was talking, just talking to the comms. Mm hmm. I mean, I would have heard from them transmitting, yeah. I just couldn't yeah. talk. Yeah, you do. So actually, yeah, you gotta kind of take the reins on this then. Since they're telling us to go and I didn't hear what they said. We're not leaving you here. Oh, and we then have I'm, to. We, well, remember, 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 remember Drox, you're the only one who can get that, that legacy. You can get that. You're the only one that will open for. Um, Can we see the storm part? I'm just gonna say, yeah. Quint, we, we need to leave. I don't want to, but we need to. I'm going to um, see. I, I think I might just try to. Uh, well, I have. See, I, I took a uh, lightsaber throw. Mm -hmm. So, I think I might. If it was uh, simple to destroy it, why would why would somebody be ramming it with a capital ship? Oh yeah, they're they're, they're literally that's not going to work. I, I know I know I should let you do it, but it's not. So Janice yeah. Yeah. Um, um, can my can my teleporting <laughs> armor? Can I grab somebody and teleport with my armor? Is it only enough for me? 
Mm. Yeah, you can grab somebody to do that, yeah. Can I grab two people? <laughs> um, no. That would be no. a jump too far. Okay. Ugh. Um... I'm gonna, I, 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 like, what are you still doing here? Get out! I'm not willing to leave them behind. Like I feel, feel like we'll find another way. You're gonna but, die in one minute. So I'm gonna grab... I'm gonna, I am gonna. would tell Drox to get to Sejanus. And I'm gonna grab Lita and teleport. Okay. Towards well, the exit. So they, they need the thing there to triangulate. Yeah, or whatever. They're not gonna. They, somebody needs to keep the communications open so that Onasi can actually home in on the signal and get oh, down why here. Why can't we just leave one of the voice comm things? Because you've got way. to keep it open. You've got to fucking talk into it oh, right. and keep it open. You can't just put it on the floor yeah, and leave it on. I don't know. It, it, Turn it, it on and leave it there. That, we need to make a decision, or we're all gonna die. We've made the decision. Right now. You're just not accepting it. Get yeah, I, I, well, I went to grab Lita, and I'm teleporting with her. I'm like. I'm not willing to lose you guys. He's just gonna like, like bats her at him. Just like, you, hey, drug, you yeah, bastard! Drug, just... You don't know what you've done. So John okay, do it, do it. Uh... So he, he just wailing on this thing, trying to distract us. Okay. Uh... Okay. Janus, no. I, I don't want us to all die, and if I'm the only one that you know this thing will open for, I need to go so I can restore peace to the galaxy. Okay. Like as much as I don't want to leave, I have to. So you guys are at the at the mirror. What do you want to do? What? Uh, go through. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, I don't think I have much choice in the matter. Okay. I'm gonna so you... I'm, yeah, I'm gonna kind of push um, Lita through. Okay, so, so you, you guys, I'm gonna see you guys go through. So delete yourselves from the. Oh, the I'm pushing room. Lita through. I'm st I'm I'm actually gonna stay and um, go back after Varus. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, come back into the room. Yeah. Well, that's a problem solved. Um, so, 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 <laughs> so, so you see Varus come up to uh, up behind Sir Janus, and he's like raises his lightsaber to kill him. And I'm gonna... you dive in. I'm just going to say, you dive in. I put your lightsaber in the way. Yeah. Just to stop it, just before. That's very noble, Quint. Very noble. Okay. <coughs> so, what are you going to do? I'm going to tell, tell Sejanus, uh, um, go, and then I'm going to try to wail at, uh, you know, stop, uh, fight Varus, as suicidal as that is. Okay. So, Quint. Uh, uh, so Janice, you want to throw him your communication device while he's fighting? <laughs> I've still got mine. Yeah, oh, you still got yours? Yeah, still got yours. Oh, right, okay, that's fine. Um, yeah. I was just choking so I could talk back. So Janice, you have a decision to make. Yeah, I, I, I guess I'll leave him. <laughs> 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 I'm trying to think of something <laughs> somewhere that could help. It was just the way the bluntness was. Very, very, very noble. Very yeah, noble. yeah. He's well, really confused. Like, well, see you. Okay. <laughs> All right. You like Have fun. <laughs> All right. So, uh, I, I'm, I'm gonna. Yeah. Oh, um, actually, sorry. No, never mind. I've still got the holocron. I meant to give the drafts, but I would have. But I forgot to actually say that. Okay. So, so you, I, I can just say that you did that. It's fine. You, you, you yeah, can toss it through to Janus as you're going. Yeah. Oh, uh, well, I would have thrown it through the portal to, uh, to yeah. Drux. Okay. <clears throat> so, okay, so 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 you and you and um, Varus are just like wailing on each other, and this um, you, you're like imbued with the Force, and so like actually you actually become one with the Force. And that's how you're holding him off. Like it's actually yeah. just, you're not even thinking about what you're doing; you're just doing it. And he, he literally can't. You, you're always on the defensive, but he cannot find a way through. And um, uh, Onasi sacrifices himself by driving his. Uh, the last capsule ship of the f of the combined fleets down straight onto the temple, straight triangulated onto this point here. Uh, but at that point, the uh, the team. This is five minutes later. Um, so the team, uh, along with, uh, have made it to the surface, and <clears throat> the Evan Hawk has been brought in uh, by Lena, who lands. And uh, and opens the hatch for everyone to jump in, and they get into the uh, the Ebon Hawk and they pull away into orbit. 
just as uh, just as the uh, the main capital ship smashes straight into the into the storm heart, which causes a massive rupture in the already weakened scar of the planet and causes it to explode. Just just with... before like just before he crashes, I would I'd say overcomes to the three of them, at, uh, or to the two of them because Rox doesn't have comms. May the force be with you. Okay. And then I get exploded. <laughs> Yeah, and then, and then that's what happens to the planet. And the fleets immediately around are absolutely vaporized. Uh, but happily, or not, um, the fact that the Republic couldn't get anywhere near the planet because they're being beaten so badly actually works in their favor in that around a quarter of their ships still survive where ne or nearly all of the Sith ships are absolutely obliterated as the, as the Ebon Hawk just barrels away from the scene. Uh, and that is where we will leave the session and the campaign. Wow. Well, well now. We well, that was pretty good. Very noble, Quint. Very oh, noble. That's what your force ghost is called. Wint. So there we go. You won. You win. You say. Ah, that was really good. I really enjoyed really that. Quite yeah, it's very noble. Be Quint. I just wish I could have thought of something a bit more better than just to run out. I was thinking of. <laughs> <laughs> well, I thought we were going to die nobly together, but yeah. apparently Quint had other ideas. I forgot he was playing a good character, and I'm used to you playing a terrible <laughs> evil character, David. So yeah. it's not. I've sacrificed yeah. myself twice in a row now. That's really that odd. Is. I didn't intend to do it in the first one, and I like it just sort of got into that point in this one. It's like, okay, here it goes. <laughs> See, this is why I can't play good characters. They just die. They just die. Oh, That's true. They 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 die after saving the day. To be fair, this hmm. is true. Okay. They did they did both set, they did both take down the big baddies. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. So job. Dean, how do you how do you feel about um, the last uh, campaign you're going to GM for a little while? Um, kind of happy actually. I think that went really well, considering. Oh, yeah, yeah c considering how how it could have gone, I think it went about as good as it could have. Um, it was set up for a nice sequel, which would be nice <coughs> somewhere down the line. Yeah, and uh, yeah, it, it's all it's all good. It's all good. I mean, See, got... oh, sorry. Go ahead. Uh, the next one I'll be GMing is. Saga, I think. Yeah. I guess so. Yes. Yeah. So yeah, I'm in Minerva, which would be nice, and I'm in Shadowrun, which would also be nice. Oh yeah, Driftwood. I forgot about that. And oh, sorry, sorry we're completely. I'm, I'm still one. doing Driftwood. Yeah. I'm still doing <laughs> yeah. Driftwood. My bad. Unless I miss some uh, in Driftwood. No. <laughs> no. Driftwood's, no, no, no. Driftwood's like one of my favourites simply because it's. It's one that doesn't take itself too seriously, you know. It's fine. You can just, you know, fuck about in it and stuff. But uh, stuff like this is like proper serious, and we yeah, we did have lighter moments. But but when you look back at it, yeah. <laughs> but, but, when, when you look at like um, like seven months, six seven months. My mm. God, there's been a lot of shit going down in uh, mm -hmm. in this campaign. You've been everywhere. You've been to all, basically the either heard of or been to the major planets. So. And we blew up one of them. And you blew up one of them, yeah. We did blow up one of them, yeah. Well, Varus blew up one of them. But... Yeah. <laughs> then he himself <laughs> blew up. So, yeah. so um, back to TomTom -tom trading then, Sedge. Yeah, that's where he's off to. That's, uh, and... that's the next part. Peace across the galaxy and TomTom -tom trading for us. That's, uh, that's our aspirations. Leader and Lena get married, probably. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know if I don't know if Lena uh, Lena's the marrying type. Don't know. Mm. Maybe. Maybe. We'll Probably see. not. Probably not. We'll see. We'll see. And to go along with the uh, title of the campaign, I feel that Drux redeemed himself from the dark we'll place that he went to. Oh, yeah, he did. Oh, I guess. So. I guess. Yeah. He did. Yeah. Well, yeah. It all. Long. It all came full circle, actually, in the end. Mm -hmm. Drox came back home, and uh, Quint taught what it, what it, what, it, what it meant to be a Jedi and sacrificing himself. 
Yeah, see, I honestly <laughs> thought with the way it was going that Quint and I were going to have this epic <laughs> duel at the end. <laughs> and then you presented me with, hey, here's a chance to redeem yourself and come back. I was yeah. like, oh, okay. Well, then, yeah, let's do it. <clears throat> I mean, you could have at any time come back and redeemed yourself. Yeah, and, um, well, this was this seemed like the best way to do it. Because there was still a conflict in him. Hmm. I mean, yeah. I kind of feel sorry for Varus now. I think he's the most sympathetic um, body that we've had. Because, um, yeah. you know, you can sort of get where he's coming from. Like, he doesn't actually want to kill everyone. He wants everything to be peaceful. And he figures if he's in charge, peace, you know. Yeah. <clears throat> so, yeah. Um, but basically, like, the public has basically no army and no fleet at the moment. The Sith are oh. completely wiped out. So the, the galaxy is really at tenterhooks at the moment. It's like, really, there's a foreboding and unstable future coming. Well, I th I think that Drox still considers himself a Sith. You know, I don't yeah. think he considers himself oh. a Jedi, considering that's all why he's I was been thinking the, um, That's why I really wanted you to talk to Imperius. Because when Quint felt the light side and the dark side within him, I thought that that was the year path for them. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's that's why he made sure that you would have the holocron. Mm. So kind of like a neutral in the force. Yeah. A gray Jedi. <laughs> <laughs> neutral or both? Yeah, a gray Jedi. Like um, yeah. I mean, I started writing this in uh, when I was in America, actually. <clears throat> so when I wrote the bod rope really quickly. And yeah, and then about a week after I got back, we started doing this. So, um, happy with it. Think it went really well, to be mm. honest. It certainly did. Uh, yeah, so. had a lot of fun. Yeah, I had a lot of fun with this. Like, I'm I'm a big Star Wars nerd, and I got to, I don't know, mm. I got to release some of that playing this. Mm. I mean, like, yeah. I you know, I have a lot of fun in the campaigns, but like. It's definitely like up there. It's vent, uh, the first Ventia campaign was, mm. you know, it's still my favorite because of just how crazy and you know awesome everything got. Yeah. And then um, you know, there's been a lot that have gotten like fairly close to it, but I think this one is was you know every bit as fun as Ventia, yeah. just because there was so you know you had the Star Wars element and all the twists and turns. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I and mean, that, that's the thing that I don't like about like it me JP Star Wars stuff is that there isn't really any. It's basically like, like Swan Song or any other sci-fi RPG in Star <laughs> Wars. It's like, well, no, you're missing the point. Like, it's supposed to be, you know, a, 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 a duel between light and dark, and you're supposed to be tempted. And you're supposed to get why people switch sides, and it's supposed to be betrayals and twists and turns and. As yeah. you're saying, stuff like that. Yeah, you could make a film of what yeah. we've just done there. Yeah, exactly, yeah. I mean, obviously all the wacky stuff would be taken out and replaced with more serious somber tones, but you can't just go through the entire thing without having a bit of lightness in it, you know, it's got to be fun. Wait, 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 wait. So, you, so what you're saying is you don't want a film with flying tontons in it, is that what you're saying? <laughs> that's, that's exactly what I'm saying, yeah. i tell you what, I, I really that, like that saying. proper comedy Star Wars film. Mm. Maybe. <laughs> what about the uh, Christmas special? Does that count? Oh God. Uh... <laughs> he could, he could, could just do like a Star Wars film written by Joss Whedon. I guess that would be quite funny. Yeah. It'd be quite dry. I might spoil the universe too much. Well, we come with some of the shit that happened with this campaign. That kind of felt like a Joss Whedon Star Wars. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think it went really well. I don't think it went really, really well. Definitely. So if I had to ask everyone for, we'll go with uh, Quint first with David. What was your favorite moment or favorite session? You know, and Peter, um, I know what to do next time. What people like, what they don't like. It's hard to say because we had so many really great ones. I mean, like the you know there were some that had just like a lot of fun and a lot of really great moments. Like when we were on the Rancor world um, and then like, shooting the Rancor and then be fighting and then running and fighting the Sith. That was a lot of fun, but I think my favorite session is probably this one. Right. There was just so much going on, and like, and it is just on so many levels, you know. Yeah. What yeah. about uh, Drox with a chance? Um, 
as far as favorite session goes, I'm going to have to agree with David. Um, this has been my favorite simply because going into it, I had a totally different expectation of what the outcome was going to be. What do you think like, was going to happen? Well, like I said, I thought that, you know, Quint and I were going to have this epic duel of, you know, light versus dark. You know, someone was going to come out the victor, and that's what the outcome of the um, Star Wars universe essentially would be. Yeah. Um, like, I, I totally didn't see this coming. Like, I knew I might, you know, I could go, you know, choose to go back to the light side whenever, but... More of like yeah. a on your deathbed sort of thing. Well, I mean, like, Drox had, you know, always had a conflict in him. So it wasn't like, oh, I'm just going to go back to the light side after I put all this time and effort being mm -hmm. a Sith and whatever. <clears throat> so, um, but I don't know. Like, I, I've enjoyed the whole campaign. Like, there hasn't been a session that I felt disappointed after it was over. Like, I, I felt. You know, there was progress steadily made throughout the mm -hmm. whole thing. And um, uh, very story-driven. Yeah, there's always going to be very linear. And, uh, um, not yeah, so much it, linear, but, you know, you, you made choices in the game. Mm -hmm. But, you know, you were still always going in one direction, basically, you know. Yeah. The hardest part for me was having to wait so long to get a lightsaber. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was... Like, yeah, I know. Like getting the lights, it was such a great session. Knowing well, how badass you could be, and then just having to use this little piece of shit sword, <laughs> you know, yeah. um, that was the hardest part. But you know, obviously, it would make you so overpowered that you know early yeah. on, it just yeah. you know, it's not fair to. And you're gonna have something to fear users. as well. It's when you see a lightsaber, it's like, oh shit, run, basically. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah. So what about Leader? Where's your favorite session or favorite? I don't know. There was a couple, really. Like I really liked the Hoth session. That was really silly. <laughs> I loved that about it. It's sort of hilarious, most of them. Um, I liked the Rancor session. Um, like There was a lot of tension in that one, and mm. we did a little bit more exploring than normal. And there were some twists and turns. I also liked um, one of the earlier sessions where... We, do you remember the one with the taxi driver? Yeah. 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 Oh, my <laughs> God. so mad at you for that. <laughs> that, was one, that was one of my favorite sessions because we all kind of showed, you know, different side, like the the true sides of our characters, yeah. in some way or another. Um, and there was like the chase at the end where Sir Janus, you know, blew three cars up with some random like makeshift or whatever. Well, uh, yeah, it was was, even before that, we, when we were trying to get up onto <clears> the, into the taxi, what, wasn't it? We were yeah, trying to find a way. It was just, it was just I love that. I think. Really oh, man, we, off and we all nearly died just from getting out of our ship. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. As, I, think, I, as um, I started taking off the jetpack and realized that I don't actually have any points in intelligence, I'm like, oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, yeah but I, so well. I, think, um, I think this session is just behind the, um, the Coruscant session for me. Like, mm -hmm. that initial change of heart and the realization that we've you know, we'd been betrayed, and um, yeah, and there was all that kind of. It was hinting at something a little bit bigger and a little bit more, you know, twisted and unexpected than um, than we thought to start off with. So I quite I like that turning, but obviously this session kind of brought that to fruition. So mm -hmm. yeah, I think I think this and um, and Coruscant were, were the two for me. I, think. Yeah. I really like that session too, to be honest. Mm -hmm. Like yeah. to ha to have someone betray the group like halfway through the. Or not a little bit more than halfway through the campaign. Yeah. It made things a little interesting. And so, just that, that that realization as I like felt you leaving. Mm -hmm. I, I was hoping that um that you you when you when we split you up that it wasn't gonna be like, oh my god, chance are gonna sit there for like three hours whilst we do all the shit and then it's gonna be like, Oh, there's twenty minutes of drops, you know, that sort of thing. But mm -hmm. hopefully that didn't it didn't go that way. Hopefully no no one felt left out and stuff. Um I, I thought even when during the Drox bits, because um, that it was like really, really, I was really invested in even uh, even when the bits would be weren't actually involved. In, yeah. You know. Mm hmm Yeah. Yeah, I still wanted to hear the story regardless. So. Yeah, it's pretty know, cool. Even though I wasn't partaking in the actual, you know, action. Mm. 
All right, so um, so Janice, Nathan, what was your yeah. favourite um, session or moment? I, I've got to say this finale was probably the best in terms of all-out action and stuff that's happening. But mm -hmm. yeah, I think when the er earlier session when we were going for the circuit cer car deeds, wasn't it? That was the one with the taxi and stuff. Oh, yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was that one, and I like the more serious stuff. But that's just the way I play my characters, isn't it? So yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> Our visit to Lego was great. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know it was ridiculous, oh, yeah. but I know you hated that thing. But that was oh, no, yeah, yeah. I, I fucking despise that. As well. <laughs> <laughs> it's so ridiculous. Like I thought it was hilarious. Quint, however. Yeah. <laughs> like I was. Um, no, I, I'd probably say like I, I love the part where, like. Uh, Quint realised he'd been duped on Coruscant by um, um, what was his name? The Jedi that you you um, Devlin. Oh yeah, uh, Devlin. Yeah, <laughs> he'd been Devlin. like he'd, he'd like impersonated an old man and like I'd been talking to him the entire time. I was so <laughs> mad. <laughs> he's just like so you. So mad. <laughs> just like that's so funny. <laughs> um, and I, I I honestly liked the first one, the very first one. I think that oh, was. Oh yeah, uh, first time. Because I was thinking of it for so long, and I was like, okay, and I'd just seen The Force Awakens, and there was one moment I really wanted to replicate, and that's when they they, walk, they run towards the Millennium Falcon, when you see it yeah. in the film. And I wanted to, like, you all like burst through the trees, and you just see the Adam Hawk there. No one knew what the fuck it was, so it didn't really, you know, it didn't have the same thing. But to me, and to, hopefully to people watching, like, they'll see the Adam Hawk, and you all burst through the trees. And it's like, oh, wow, it's the Adam Hawk, you know, that sort of thing. So it's like the Old Republic's Millennium Falcon, basically, so. Yeah. Yeah. You know. It was quite funny seeing Drax as well, sniper shooting the Sith Lord and then getting blown off the cliff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, like, like, like I, I, after the credits roll, um, it just goes back to Nar and uh, and he's there just like uh, as as a club owner now. He's All like right. sitting there, you know, you know, with it with a with a cigar. <laughs> like a, lot, a lot, load of Twi'lek bitches around him. Oh yeah, that was his thing, wasn't he? He was constantly yeah, yeah. Twi'lek dancers. Yeah. So I, I swear that was the most ridiculous thing. Like his name being Valen Drax and mine being Drax Valen. Like I, I was like, are you <laughs> so kidding me? What? Are you kidding me? Like what? <laughs> and I got mine from a generator. Like I just looked up the best. He, did as well, yeah. Yeah. he said he didn't. Oh, no, he didn't. Oh, he yeah. said he said he made it up from floor. Yeah, see, and that's the thing. Like, I found mine from generators. Like, I looked for the best names I could. I was like, oh, yeah, let's just put them together and see what it looks like. So That's that's exactly what I did. Mm -hmm. Right. I think I'm going to let you all go now. Because... Yeah, I've got to run because I'm supposed to be at dinner with Natalie's family in a little bit. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, thank you guys for playing. And thanks for, you know. Thanks. Uh, well, thank you, Benny. Getting it in there and us finishing it. And obviously, yeah. we'll be... Back again. I think the, probably the weakest part of this this entire thing was the bod rope that it was like uh, written in a week. Uh, but the next bod ropes, uh, especially things like uh, Saga and uh, Minerva, are much better. Like much more stringent, yeah. much more you know they can stand up to the punishment. But it went okay, and I think that yeah. shows how, how the nice thing about the bod rope is you can even in its weakest form it still works. So, yeah, you know. yeah, just required um, a bit of playing around, but yeah, no, it's great. Yeah. So thanks for watching and steady. You can switch off this this the stream whenever you feel like it. Say goodbye. 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 Have a pleasure with you all and all that. And we'll see you later. I gotta run. <laughs>